What's up? Hey, CZ2 and you're here and Sarah and I'm Dylan and Angel and Shally. How are you? How are you? Wait, okay, I haven't streamed in so long. I'm like trying to double check that I have everything correct. Okay, we're good. Spooky, you change your name? Or are you not spooky? You are spooky. You have to be spooky. Panda, how are you? Did you change your name? What's up? What's up? What have you guys been up to? How does everyone know? Because your name's not spook in it. What do you mean? How could we not know? Hello? <laughs> what the heck? Stick a game. Yeah, have you heard about this game, Dylan? It looks really cute and comfy. I haven't played it yet. Um, but I got like a code for it. So I'm gonna stream. I'm really excited because it looks it looks cute and comfy, and I'm liking the music so far. I hope the music isn't too loud for you guys. I lowered the music a little bit, but I haven't I've never played this game before though. How you been? I've been I've been so busy. I mean I've been busy. Okay, well, so I stopped. Well, I've been well now I'm busy. I'm hoping I could stream more often now, but now it's like next week is probably one of my busiest weeks I'm gonna have in a while. Um, but before that, I had some other stuff to take care of. That and like mental health's a bitch kind of thing. So that I was taking care of that. Um And that's why I haven't streamed in a while, but we're doing better now. We're doing good. So hopefully I can stream more often now. We'll see. We'll see. Last two weeks been hell how come, Angel? Ooh, I hope the head pat works. I actually don't know. It's not working. Hold on. Let me see. Um why is it not working? I'm locked into everything. Hmm. Okay, hold on. I have to figure out how to do it manually. One second. I think it's F2. Yeah, okay. There you go. We'll, manu we'll manually do it for now. Thank you for the head pat. You got the 19? I did, Angel! I did! I haven't tried it yet, though. It's still sitting nice in its box. 
But I, I did get it. I got it the other day, actually. Not not too long ago. I finally got it. Um, but I haven't tried it yet, like I said. I'm trying to... I don't know. I don't know when. I feel like it has to be... It has to be like a special occasion for me to... to for me to try. This is like literally the most expensive alcohol I've ever gotten before. So I feel... I don't... I feel like it should be at least something... Like... Just not a normal day to try it, you know? So, um, I'm waiting for that, Angel. I'm waiting for that to happen. We'll see. I'll definitely try it by my birthday. If not on my birthday, then maybe before that, I think. I think that's the plan. Truck broke. Oh no, your truck broke down. 14.5 thousand repair bill? God damn. I'm sorry, Angel. That sucks. Like, at that point, can't you just... Like, like how damn I feel like you could just gotten how expensive are trucks? Well, I guess it depends on what kind of truck you have But I feel like you could definitely buy a used truck at that price gosh Chill it the night before you think you'll open it. Mm, okay. Okay got it like in in the freezer or something or what's the plan? I'm interested. I drank a Red Bull earlier, so I'll actually stay awake for a stream for a while. <laughs> No worries Dylan if you need to sleep, it's all right But damn why do you drink a Red Bull so late at night? Looking forward to streams? Ah, oh, thank you, Don. Thank you, thank you. Hey, young nobody. How are you? How are you? I'm good. I hope I hope you're doing well. We're gonna start this game called Sticky Business. It's a sticker game. I just I just felt like for my first stream coming back in a in a while, I feel like we should just do a comfy game. So that's what this is gonna be. So here, let me start. Let me start the game. Oh, okay. Oh God. Okay. Well, we're gonna put chill. There's no capital. Oh, there is. Okay. What should we call it? What should we call the shop? What do you guys think? What's a good name? I don't even know what, what a good name would be for my shop. What if, what if... I have a name for my merch store. I don't even know what that's called. I think I called it... I just looked at it the other day because I had to do my taxes. And I had to figure out... Well, I haven't finished doing my... I haven't filed my taxes yet. But I had to look at, like, um, income and crap from that. What was my shop called? Oh my god. Maybe I need more O.S. in my name? Oh, O's in my name, so everyone want... Spooky, it's still gonna look like Spook! I don't... I mean, they're still gonna tell... They can still tell it's you, bro. Chillin'? I'm glad you're chillin', young. We're all, we're all chillin' tonight. We're chillin' tonight. Don't worry. In the freezer, the repair bill is appropriate for the price of this truck, but damn, damn, that sucks! I... don't know what I will do if my car breaks down, because that is my only car. And I... I don't think I have enough money to buy another car. So hopefully, knock on wood, we're gonna be okay. But I don't think... Well, number one, my car is not worth 14.5 thousand. My car, it's old and it's it's not it's not that fancy. It's old and it's like a, you know, the basic bitch model of a car. But um, still, Still, even just to repair my car, I don't know if I... I don't know, I guess it depends on how much the repair bill is, but gosh. Blossom Trails? Is that... Is that does that refer to something? More O's is good, I'll let Chiel borrow... You'll let me borrow your second car? Damn! Look at, look at Spooky over here with a second car. I guess Chiel knows how to drive an SUV. Um... Do I? I mean, I've driven my parents' SUV, so yeah, I guess I do know how to drive one. What's the merch command? Uh, exclamation point merch, I think. Flowers blossom and they show up on trails. Oh, okay, I thought I thought it was like a reference to something. Blossom, well, yeah. Cause nobody else suggested a name, we'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. Day speed normal. You know what, let's... Ooh. Uh, you know what, let's, let's keep it on normal. I guess it's either normal or make it go even slower. We'll keep it on normal, even though I feel like hopefully we can, you know, chat, chat, chat while playing. Okay, we'll do the tutorial first because I don't know. This is so exciting. Having your own sticker shop is a dream come true. Let me show you around. This is your desk. Here you'll find everything you need to run your shop. Got this to design a sticker to put in your shop. Okay. Ooh. Oh, so I have to make a sticker. So yeah, so pretty much from my understanding of this game, you pretty much make st so you own a sticker shop, and you just make oh <gasps> they have flowers and you make stickers, um and then you send them out to customers and that's it. Like I was uh, you there's not 
It's not like any high pressure kind of thing. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. Flaming hot Doritos? Ooh. I don't I don't think I've ever had flaming hot Doritos. Are they good? Okay. We have to use the flowers, obviously. Fla there's su such a thing as flaming hot ruffles? Okay, I've never seen that before. Ooh, let's make. Okay, maybe not a frog. Hey bagel, how are you? Hold on, I have to manually do the head pat. Thank you for the head pat. Thank you, thank you. I did not know there were flaming hot ruffles. Or Doritos. Honestly, I don't I'm not a big like chip eater, I guess. So I did not know those existed. Uh, what can we make? I know we could kind of just make whatever, but. Am I allowed to recolor the dog? What does this do? Oh, that's just the border. Okay, what's this one? Oh, a black border. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Hmm, maybe I don't want the dog. No, we'll go with the frog. Because frogs have to do with rain, and that would be kind of suitable for me. But we'll put... Ooh. Yeah, let's put it... Is it kind of weird to put it behind the eyes? I wanted to try to make it... I'm not a frog, but kind of like me. But I feel like the eyes make it kind of weird. Uh, we'll see, we'll see. We'll have like two flowers. Over here, I don't know. Thank you so much for the follow, Bunny Walk! How are, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. Posted a pick in IRL chat of your truck or of something else. How do you duplicate? What is this? Oh, this is to rotate. I mean, to flip. <gasps> Belmont, how are you? Why Chihuahua? I don't want to be a Chihuahua. Not Chihuahua. No, 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 no. I do not want to be Chihuahua. Thank you very much. We'll put that behind here. There we go. Flamin' Hot Doritos are so good in the ruffles. Anything Flamin' Hot? I I like Flamin' Hot Cheetos, but that, I think that is... I think Flamin' Hot Cheetos are the only Flamin' Hots I've had. I don't know, but like I said, I'm not a... I don't really eat chips. So I never go down... I never really go down the chip aisle, so I, I wouldn't know. It's too late. It's in the cheat. What is the cheat Bible? What the heck? I was not aware this was a thing. Okay, let's put... A few more flowers here. Okay, I, I, uh, it kind of blends in with the other one. Okay, maybe we won't put more flowers. No, we'll put it. We'll put like flowers all around the frog, or maybe we'll put it at the bottom. I am putting way too much thought into this. I think but that's okay. That's okay. This is just the tutorial portion. Like that, perfect. Mm, okay. I can't tell if it's creepy or not. I actually don't know. Maybe we'll put it in a pot. Okay, I don't think I like it. <laughs> I don't think I like this. I don't think I like this frog. Um, what if we... <gasps> what if we... I don't know if that's creepy or not. I don't know. But I think I'm gonna go with it. This frog grass creature. I think we're gonna go with that. Sup, Odang? How are you? Gotta try the flaming Hot Ruffles with sour cream. Like, actual sour cream? Or you mean it? that's the flavor? Because I know there's sour cream and onion flavor, right? Or do you mean, like, dip the... Dip the... Oh, actual sour cream. Okay, okay. I am willing to try it. I'll... If, if I go to the store, I'll see if I can find it. But I don't know if they have those kind of things in, um... Lately, for groceries, I've been going to Aldi. I don't know if they have that at Aldi. Oh my goodness, that just flew down to the floor. Oh dang! Thank you so much for re... 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 re what? Re... Re-enlisting in the Teddy Teddy Plus Army. 
20 months. Oh my god. I say that I feel like I say this every time I see how long it's been, but god damn. Thank you, thank you. How do you feel about people who actually buy the dip at stores? Like like the pre-made oop, what happened here? The pre-made dips. Um Like I don't know, I get it. I mean, because there are some interesting flavor combos that you probably will need to buy a lot of different things just to remake up by yourself. So, I don't know. I don't have an issue with... Um... I don't have an issue with buying the dips in the stores. I usually don't buy... I don't... I guess I don't... I'm not a chip person. So, I just don't really... I don't eat chips and dip. That's it. If I'm at a party and they have it, sure, whatever, I'll, I'll, I'll eat some. But I have never, I never like go out of my way to buy it for myself, you know? The dips in jars, yeah, 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 like, I don't know, I, there's some interesting combos. So, I think it's fine. I don't see an issue with it. Why, do you not like people that buy dips? Is it weird to buy a dip? I mean, yeah, they're probably not overly complicated to make yourself, but... But if you're saving uh, time and ingredients, like... Let's say you need just a pinch of some kind of spice to make the dip. It's, it's more economical to just buy the dip than to buy a whole jar of the spice just to use like a table or a teaspoon of it, you know what I mean? If you're never gonna use that um, spice for anything else. So, I don't know. I kind of get it. The only pre-made dip I buy is salsa, other than my roommate always makes homemade dip. Like, like, what kind of dips does your roommate make? Damn, I, I forgot. Did you? I, you know, you said your roommate cooks, but are they actually a, a chef or something? Also, hurt myself at work today. Other, wait, you hurt yourself at work, young? Why? When? I hope you're okay. I hope it's not too bad. Wait, do you get workers' comp from it? Cause, uh, get that, get that money, dude. <laughs> I, I would say get that money. Just the big thing that died out where I live or buy a packet you mix into sour cream. Oh, that's a thing? I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know they had those things where you could mix it into sour cream. That's pretty smart. That's pretty smart. I guess that would make more sense then. If, if, or wait, are most, are most dips other than salsa? Are most dips sour cream based? Because if that's the case, then it makes sense to just buy like a powder packet that you can mix into the the sour cream. Mmm, cheese. Guac is a dip. Mmm. Wow. I'm realizing so many things. That's true. That is true. Summer cheese, guac is a dip, bean dip. Okay, okay, okay. So, okay, so I guess not most of them are sour cream, but I guess the ones that I like, the popular ones. I guess are sour cream based, maybe. Oh shoot, I forgot. Look, you can't. You could. It's my. The chat is kind of covering it, but I forgot that there's a day day cycle down here. Maybe we should just put the day cycle at relaxed, because I'm taking way too long making stickers over here. French onion, beer cheese, homemade guac, homemade guac. Ooh, fancy. He took culinary courses when he was in college, but he. Isn't hired. Chef just cooks a lot for us at home. Oh, I see. I see. I mean, at least, yeah. Don't put your don't put your schooling to waste. <laughs> I say as I would want to probably leave the profession I'm in. Although, granted, I'm I'm looking for like a side job, side job. I'm looking for another job, but there's like only so many positions available for me. With my experience, kind of sucks. Onion powder and garlic powder into sour cream. Yeah, but if you want something like even fancier as CC2, then... Like, what if you have to buy like some kind of expensive jar of stuff and you only need a teaspoon of it? So I kind of get buying pre-made dips, you know, seven layer dip. Yo, I forgot about that. What, it, what even is in the seven layer dip? So you probably have sour cream, some kind of meat, I think, beans, guac. Cheese, maybe? I don't know. Okay, that's five. What would be the other two? Chives? Does, does that count as a layer? A layer of chives? I don't know. Um, that's six. What would the seventh layer be? Tomatoes? 
I don't know. I don't think I would want salsa in, in it. Hmm. I don't know what the seventh layer of seven layer dip would be. A different type of cheese, maybe. I don't know. My family dips chips and cream cheese mixed with the juice? Oh, or liquid from a jar of olives. Interesting. I'm willing to try it. It doesn't... I don't know. I don't know if that sounds the most appealing to me, Dylan, but I'm, I'm willing to try it. I'm not huge on olives, but I'm willing to try it. Go to the bulk barn. I've... Is that like a store? No, but what if you don't want to buy stuff in, in bulk? CC2. Because you, you're never going to use that powder again. So, I don't know. It makes sense to not um, buy it. Buy... To not, to not buy just the powders and to end up buying the... Um, the dip, the pre-made dip. Thank you so much for the follow, submissive hippo. Welcome to the Teddy Teddy Bosa family. How are you? How are you? I think my frog looks cute. I'm not gonna lie. <gasps> you could save your sticker to your desktop and share it with the world. Wait, I, I think it's cute. I, I genuinely. Oh, wait, we have to name it too. Hold on. Um. Oh my god. Uh, we'll just name it Flower Frog. I don't know. Wait, I'm gonna save this because I, I, I'm kind of proud of this one. We'll find your sticker on your desktop. Send it to a friend or share it with the world. If you do, don't forget to tag us. Okay. I think it turned out for our first sticker ever in our shop. I think it turned out cute. Beans, guac, cheese, sour cream, taco meat, tomato. So there is tomato. Interesting. Hey, Nix. How are you? That do be a cute frog. It looks like a Hawaiian frog. It does. It kind of looks like a hula skirt, huh? Mm, here. Let me be we'll name it hula frog. Hula frog. There. We'll name it that instead. How are you, Nyx? Hello, hello, you. Yeah. Softens the cream cheese. You don't get much olive. Mmm. Well, I'm willing to try it. Like I said. But I, I don't know if I would ever be able to because I don't buy olives. Because, again, not a big olive fan. I'll eat them. I'll eat it if it's on a pizza. I'll eat it if it's like in a margarita or not margarita. Is that where you put olives? Whatever drink you put olives in. But I'll never willingly order olives. Like, I'll never willingly pick olives for a pizza topping. I think it's a fruit? Taco Bell count shredded cheese and cheese sauce as two different layers. Wait, Taco Bell has seven layer dip? I did not know this. Interesting. Olives are your number one. Damn, really? Interesting. I like olive oil, I guess. I like to cook with olive oil. There's that, I suppose. I'm good, I'm good. Very sleepy and just chilling. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. Yeah, you can you can chill with us, Nyx. This is a comfy game, and I'm mostly just um we're still in the tutorial. <laughs> we're <coughs> excuse me, we're mostly just chatting, but we're still in the tutorial. But it's comfy so far, and I like the music a lot. The clock over here will show you how much time you have left today. Creating stickers, printing, packing, and sending will take time. Always keep an eye on it. Oh, so there's like a deadline kind of thing on this. Uh oh. Now that your sticker is online and ready for the world to see, let's wait until tomorrow to see if we get some orders. <gasps> Would you guys order my sticker? Oh my god, you could fail and you could be late. Uh-oh. Maybe, maybe we really should have made the game clock slower. I don't know. Exciting news, you received your first order. Yay! Before you can send out those stickers, we need to arrange them on a sticker sheet and get them ready for printing. Take your time to arrange them with care, making sure they fit just right on the sheet. Hi. I cannot believe people ordered my stickers in my shop that has just one sticker. Drag and drop the stickers, and then they'll automatically fill, click on the stickers onto the sheet to rotate. Okay. Uh, how do we? Uh, it's a, how do you automatically fill? Didn't it say you could? It'll automatically fill? Oh, I see, I see, okay. So if I click here, I don't have to drag and drop it. Okay, okay. I understand. I think we need to make like a ton. A ton. We're gonna maximize our sticker space, I think. Thank you so much for the follow on Twitch, Next, Thank you, thank you, thank you. Welcome to the Teddy Teddy Bozo family. Uh-oh, there we go. Taco Bell's five layer burrito supreme pizza is good. Supreme Pizza at Taco Bell? You know, I've never tried... Have I? Oh, are you... Wait. Oh, you mean like the Supreme Pizza at like... Other places is what you mean. Because those have olives in it, huh? 
I don't mind Supreme Pizza. I think this is how we maximize our space. Look at this. We're gonna go like this. I think this... Oh, shoot. So, because that way it'll... Ooh, let's see. Let's see if we could fit five. No, no. Mm, I guess there's no point, because you can't fit five. No matter what you do. So I guess there's no point in trying to maximize your space like that. But you know what? We'll, we'll do it anyway. We'll do it anyway like that. Here, we'll fill it up and then... Ooh, see? If you automatically fill it, then... It only puts three per row. Okay, so we really do have... Oh, look! Your potential turnover and printing costs. Okay, okay. So you really do want to maximize your space. Okay. Don't worry, we got this. I'm a pro at this. Not really a pro, but... I've made stickers before. So I kinda... I kinda get it. Maybe. <laughs> Maybe. I wonder if this guy should have been upside down. Mm, whatever. Go like that. Put that there. Time for millimetric precision. Uh huh. We're gonna try to put as many as we can on here. As we. Nia, thank you for the raid. How are you? How are you? Nya, nya, raid. How is your stream, Nia? I saw you were playing Persona. Hold on, let me shout you out. Welcome in, it's welcome in, it's my name's Shell, I'm a hydrangea VTuber. We're playing, uh, Sticky Business. How's your stream? Ooh, look at this clip from... Oh no, we're not good at edging. What is this clip? <laughs> how, how far, how far are you in the game, Nia? How, was it fun? Was it fun? I hope you're enjoying the game. What do you think of it so far? Welcome in, it's my name's Shell, I'm a hydrangea VTuber. We're currently playing Sticky Business, which is a sticker game. We're still kind of in the tutorial, I think. This is my first sticker that I made. A cute little frog. We, we named it Hula Frog. Um, and right now I'm just trying to arrange the stickers onto the sheet. <laughs> so we're gonna maximize our space here. So that we can print as many stickers as we can. So that we get a lot of money. We get rich in a sticker game. Mm-hmm, that's the plan. Love the game, I'm having fun. Just finish the hotel stuff. Hotel stuff. I'm trying to think what the hotel stuff is. I'm wondering if that's new? Or... Was that like one of the school vacation things? But I'm glad you're enjoying it so far. I saw in the clip that you already got Shinji, huh? Shinji, was that his name? Who's your favorite character so far? That's what I want to know. Doing dungeon grinding, then I wiped and I quit. Oh man, I'm sorry. That sucks. That sucks. I think, I think the game was just saying it's almost sleepy time. That's probably what it was having. It was probably trying to tell you. I love Mitsuru. Mitsuru is good. I like Mitsuru. I've... I feel like when I, when I first played the game, I didn't care for Mitsuru too much. But now that I'm older, I don't know. Maybe it's because Mitsuru is like more mature. I've come to like that type of character more. It's weird. Toaster girl. Toaster girl? Who's Toaster Girl? I guess? Or is Toaster Girl somebody else? Who's Toaster Girl? <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, you can save the sticker sheet and then it says made with sticky business on there. Interesting. Okay, okay. So there's a little save button here. Yeah, I guess. Oh, okay. How is she? I didn't. Man, I barely remember anything of Persona 3. I remember she was kind of cute, but I think. Who was my favorite girl? I don't remember who my favorite girl was in P3. I know for P4, my favorite girl was Risei. And then Jen, how are you? Not my favorite concrete shoveling hydrangea VTuber, no. We ha I had to, it had, to, I didn't do that much. It not, the concrete didn't have to be shoveled that much, don't worry. So I didn't even have to wake up that early. We were good, we were good. I had to move it because um, there's like some concrete rubble in the way of these, um, because they're gonna install my AC, so I had to move it out of the way, you know? <gasps> Stink Master, how are you? Why have I stuck around this long? What do you mean? You don't have to. I mean, I appreciate you sticking around for this long, but you don't have to if you don't want to. 
but but I do appreciate it. How have you been, Stink Master? Hope you're doing well. How's how's life been? What's up? Update me. We're catching up. Today's catch up stream while we play this comfy game. What have you been up to? I think she's cute, but I don't like using her in fights because she's a physical user. Oh, I see. Yo, booty! Thank you for re-enlisting in the Teddy Teddy Wilson Army. <gasps> 36 months. Holy shit. Wait, that's a... Oh my god, I can't math. Oh shit, I can't math. Hold on. That's three years. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> I'm like, I feel like 36 means it's a big, like it's a milestone kind of thing. But what milestone is that? Three years! There we go! <laughs> oh shit, three years. Thank you, booty. How have you been? What have you been up to? She divide. She di I didn't actually divide by 12. What I did was I took 12 and then I multiplied it by 2 and then by 3. And then I was like, oh, 12 times 3 equals 36. That means... So I didn't divide 36 by 12, which is what I think is the more sensible thing to do. But I, I just multiplied 12 by various numbers to try to see how many years that would be. <laughs> uh, don't worry. I'm, I'm tired. I'm slow. It's been, it's been a day for me. I woke up early today. I, I woke up early. Just job hunting the usual. How did your interview go, Stink Master? Did you... Did How did it go? Oh yeah, did you... Oops, what did I do here? Did you end up getting tips from Aether on how to... Do your resume and stuff, or... Like I said, if you want me to... I, I mean, I'm no expert, especially in your field, but... If you want me to check your resume out too, I'm, I'm down. But if, you, if, you, if you're not comfortable with that, I totally understand, don't worry. I am... I, I just revamped my... I, uh, I just revamped my resume because... I'm applying to a second job too. <laughs> but there's only so many second jobs I can apply to, unfortunately. Oh my god, hold on, let me save this first. Oh, I got, I got an achievement, holy sheet! Because I created my first sticker sheet. Okay, it's print. Okay. And then do I just keep clicking print? How many do I have to print? Oh, I have to print 19? Oh no, that's how many stickers are on here, right? How many do I print? Well, I mean, somebody just ordered one sticker, right? How many orders did we get? I... Do I just spend all my money on printing? So we have 19 plus 19. Here, we'll just print three pages. I don't know how rich I am yet. Is that it? I don't know if that's it. Failed the American school system? Hey! I went to private school. It's not like that technically does does that count as the American school system? I didn't, but I had two jobs I actually reach out and it's just been a week of nothing happening waiting. Oh, I see, I see. Well, I'm, I mean that's exciting though that you had two jobs reach out. Hey penis, how are you? You're gonna work a second job that must be so tired. Uh we'll see. I don't know. I've only applied I mean I've been looking, but I've only applied to one that looks good so far. Cause the job the second job I'm looking for is very specific. It's for a specific role and it's specifically for a per diem job. So that means I'm probably going to try to only work because in my previous workplace, per diem meant four shifts a month. And that sounds fine. I'll just work like two weekends. I, I don't mind that. Um, so I'm looking specifically for a per diem job so that I can just work some weekends and that, that, that'll that be fine. That'll be good extra money, you know? Um, but... There's only so many per diem jobs I can find. And so far I've only found one that I would want to apply to. Everything else is like night shift and I... I'm not gonna do night shift, sorry. I can share with whoever if they want to review it. I'm not too worried about it. Ah, oh, okay, okay, yeah! I mean, if you're... I'm, I'm down to review it, Stingmaster. I'm down to review it. I'll, I'll try to remember to mess message you as well. Good, Missy, how are you doing? Aw, you're so sweet, penis. I'm good, I'm good. We're chilling. We're making stickers. I don't know if I made enough stickers. Uh, frog stickers. I printed out some, so we'll see. Oh, here we go. Now that you've printed your stickers, it's time to pack up those orders. Julia Klein. Okay. 
Cutie Julie. Hey, Chiel. It's me, Julia Klein. Okay. Hi. You have a sticker shop? That's amazing. When we meet up next time, you must absolutely tell me all about it. Hmm, okay. Oh, she ordered six. I have 57 stickers. Holy shit. Oh, so I take it from here, and then I put it in here. Okay. Oh, wait. We'll be fancy. Hold on. Look over here. So you can put... Choose your paper, and then you could choose filling. Okay, we'll make it fancy. Let's make it fancy. Night shift scary. Imagine that place is haunted. I mean, it's gonna be a hospital, so yes, it's always gonna be haunted. Mm, we want green for the hula frog. Maybe green is good. Okay, we can't afford can't. Oh, I'm blocking it. I'm sorry, I'm blocking it. I can't afford this stuff yet to put in here, so. We won't, we won't put that in. Thank you so much for the hype chain, y'all. Thank you, thank you. I mean, I'm gonna arrange this nicely, but there's really no point. Because when you're shipping this out, it's gonna be jostled and everything in the box. Like, there's no point trying to make it... You could just shove it um, any which way you want, you know? But I'll make it. I'll try to make it nice. We'll see. How many did she get? Six. Okay. I wonder if I could fit... Mm, hold on. This is probably not the most efficient way to pack it. Again, it doesn't matter because it's just gonna be... USPS is not gonna be nice to it. They're just gonna toss it around. There we go. That's six. Alright. Pack. I can't believe somebody bought six of the st same stickers. That's crazy. I don't know if I would ever buy six of the same stickers. You have packed all your orders for today. Let's go back and bring them to the post office. Oh, we're doing everything. This is really like a home business. Now it's time to bring your carefully packed order to the post office. Your first customer is eagerly awaiting. Okay. Then there's this cute little mailbox. Oh, that does it. Okay, there we go. And with that, your first order is on its way. This is just the beginning of your very own small business. Now go ahead and create the sticker shop of your dreams. Alright. Ooh, upgrades. Wait, we don't have hearts. Uh, I meant I'm like blocking some of this. But, so you guys can't see it. I'm sorry. So there's a uh, current there's two currencies. Um there's the coins and then there's hearts. So these cost hearts, but I don't have hearts yet. And then I think these are just for what I can use in my sticker shop. Okay. Sup, Mango? How are you? What have you been up to? I mean, I guess I kind of know what you've been up to. <laughs> but how are you? How are you? Free GL stream? What do you mean? Of course it's free, robot. How have you been? What are we doing? So there's really no goal here. Oh. Wait, what? Oh, look at the look at the little time thing in the bottom corner. So if I go to the post office, it's gonna advance the time like that. Oh, okay, okay. That's how it works. Interesting. <gasps> I have my own website. Oh my god. Welcome to your very own sticker shop. This is stickers can be ordered by customers. The price of each sticker will be automatically assigned. Why? I can't overprice my stuff? Currently, you only have five slots available in your shop and to showcase and sell your creations. Don't worry if you run out of space, you can purchase additional slots in the future. Alright, so I have my hula frog. Okay, let's make this blue. And we'll add... Ooh, this looks like flowers. I know it's supposed to be stars, but it kind of looks like flowers, so I think we'll keep that. Yeah, yeah, we'll keep that design. Okay, so we have enough slots to make four more stickers. I am not 69% say so. I am 99.69% say so. Thank you very much. Okay, I can't really click on anything else here. That's fine. Stuck in Stardew Valley. How are you enjoying it? Because there was there was an update for it recently, right? Nine, yes, 99.69. Thank you. Thank you for getting it right, robot. Wait, so I really can't buy any of these upgrades? They all cost hearts. 
so I guess... Oh, here we go. Okay, what is the star? So the star seems like sticker items. So I can make more stickers. That's the slots. This is to recolor. I don't know what this is to recolor exactly. And I think this one is for the border of the stickers. I don't know what these are. But apparently I have mustard yellow and salmon, but I don't know what those are. Oh, and then I have... Oh, this is the sticker paper. Ooh, you can get fancy sticker paper. Cardboard. Why cardboard? Stickers come on cardboard? That's weird. Then I could buy packing paper. And the filling stuff. And then I can even include candy. Oh, I can buy the candy now. It's probably not a good idea to buy the candy now. What if... I wonder... Are you able to, like, blow all your money in this game without... Or no, maybe not. Maybe you can't fail. I'm guessing maybe if you blow all your money on, um... No, but what if you do? What if you don't even have money to print more stickers? Like, is it just... Fail? Try it? I'm, I don't want to lose my frog, but... I guess there is only one way to find out. Okay. Fine. Let's find out, but we have so many... We have so many frog stickers that I think we'll be okay with the orders for a while, but... Here, we'll buy all this candy. Okay. And now we're broke. And then I guess I just sleep? They don't let you go bankrupt and have to foreclose your home in this game, we'll see! Oh, you can fail! Oh, I made money. Well... So do we really want to try to fail? I could try. I could really try. But it's gonna take a while because I have 51 stickers, so that's a lot of money I'm gonna make from this. <laughs> maybe we'll- maybe we'll try to fail some other time. Because I feel like this is gonna take too long to try to fail, because... I'm gonna make so much money off of these stickers. Let's go make another sticker. We'll fail. Some, we'll try to fail some other time. I'm curious what'll happen. Weird flex, but okay. I have so many stickers. What do you mean? I'm that. I'm just that good at printing stickers, bro. Yeah, it sounds like too much work. Okay, what other? What else can we make? Should we be like an entirely plant-themed shop? Plant theme, like there's always going to be some kind of plant, but maybe we'll have other stuff going on, you know? Okay, nice big pot. Hydrange, they don't have hydrangeas. Or maybe, maybe later they will, I don't know. But for, oops. But for now, let's try to, I don't know, make this work somehow. Game is rigged? Why is it rigged? It's like games, this thing word. I wonder if you can order the stickers you make in this game. I don't think it let they let you print it out. Um, they let you save the file. I 99% sure you're not allowed to actually sell the stickers, but I imagine if you had like a sticker machine, you could probably make it from the file that they send. That would be my guess. I don't see why not. So it's not like, um, like that one Jackbox game. Uh, blah, 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 blah. TKO, I think. I think TKO, they actually let you order the shirt, huh? I've never tried it. I was so tempted at one point to buy one of the shirts that we made on TKO. But I didn't do it. But it seemed kind of cool. 
I believe the game clarifies you can use them for personal use. Oh, but not selling. Interesting. I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. That makes sense. I cannot see anything... I cannot imagine anybody saying that you can't use it for personal use. Because if it's for personal use, then... Who cares? Like, also partly, like, how would they know <laughs> if it's for personal use? You own three shirts from Jackbox? Damn, are they good quality? Are they good quality? Like, and what made you decide to get those shirts? Were they just that good? What if the game publisher ordered the stickers from them? Man, I'm confused. What do you mean, Mango? I, I tried to process that in my head. It's not working. My head no working right now. I don't know what else I want to do with this sticker. I feel like it's kind of boring. Put a cat in there. I only bought one though, the other two received as joke ones for my birthday from my friends. Uh-oh. What, what does it say on there? Hey, XLM, how are you? Did you see the eclipse? No, I, I didn't. I didn't bother. I didn't know that the eclipse... I guess that was, um... Well, I mean, it was only a partial eclipse where I am anyway. But I didn't know that that was the... There will be other partial eclipses before it. I mean, after that, but... Apparently, in the path of totality, that's the only part. That's the only total eclipse in some areas until, or I think in in the U.S. until 2020, 2044, I believe is what I read. I don't know. I don't remember. Something like that. Did you see the eclipse? Did any of you guys see the eclipse? I honestly forgot that it was happening because I wasn't too excited about it, unfortunately. Why do we keep getting rain? I don't know. It's literally raining every weekend here. It doesn't make sense. Like, it's only on the weekend. And it's been happening for, I think, a month now? A month straight where it's just raining on the weekends? It's wild. Free rain. I, I don't mind because it's going to water my trees and I don't have to worry about that. And free, free water, you know? But... I really wish I had a rain barrel. I don't have a rain barrel, though. I feel like if I had a rain barrel, that'll help um, me harvest water for watering my plants. Because my god, my plants, some of them are thirsty all the time. Use up so much water, man. I can only put so many plants in here because then it kind of all blends in together. I don't think I like this. Hold on. Like Jackbox where the game publisher prints and cuts- No, no, I don't think they do that, Mango. That'd be cool, though. But I don't think so. At least, so far, I haven't seen anything like that. I don't wear them in public too often, though, because one says I'm gonna- <laughs> Oh, okay. I'm assuming that was one of the ones your friends got you, Snake Master? Amazing. Amazing. I mean, it's kind of, it's funny though. You can wait for sleeping, I guess. It could be like a sleeping shirt. I didn't even realize an eclipse happened until the day after and all the social media was talking about it. Yeah, I kept... I forgot about it. I mean, I saw some people were talking about it before, but not that many. I'm also not very active on social media anymore, so... There's probably really slim chance I would have noticed anyway. You did? How was the how was the eclipse, XLM? Was it worth it? Did you enjoy it? Was it cool? I saw an eclipse once. Um at one of my old workplaces. Went to the rooftop and everything. It was pretty cool. Not amazing, but it was pretty cool. Like I'd be willing to see it again. I don't mind. God said we don't deserve sunshiny weekends this month. It sucks, cause I, I have um, I wanted to make, <laughs> cause you know how I have this one video on YouTube that said how I wanted to make vlogs more often, and then that was literally the only freaking vlog that I make. I, I'm thinking we'll do a planting vlog kind of. <laughs> I don't know, but I've been really. I mean, as you guys know, I like plants, and I've been really into plants lately, and gardening and crap and I'm thinking 
because just so I have some YouTube content, I think we'll probably have a plant vlog kind of thing. I don't know. You don't have to watch the video, obviously, if it doesn't interest you, but... Is that okay? Is that an okay idea? I don't know. Or does that sound too boring? <laughs> I mean, while I fully do not expect everybody to be interested in it at all, um, I would also be sad if literally nobody watched it because it was so boring. So I, I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of torn here, you know? I don't know. Face reveal? No, not face reveal. It would just be, I mean, unless you accidentally see me in a reflection or something, but it would, no face reveal for me. Sorry. It's not the, not not in special, brother. <laughs> I can't. I kind of don't get why it's a big deal. The eclipse, because it's cool. And well, because like I said, for this the eclipse that happened here, um, it was the only. So the one that happened here compared to the one in twenty seventeen, um, the path of totality was a lot wider, so a lot more areas got to see it, and then it's also the. We'll get other partial eclipses here, but I think that's the last... The the next total eclipse in the US won't be until 2044. So I guess I kind of get why it's a big deal, because it's not going to be happening for another 20 years if you saw it in the Path of Totality, but... If, if you weren't in the Path of Totality, I'm kind of like, eh, it's kind of whatever. You're going to see other partial eclipses, bro. <laughs> That's why I wasn't too excited about it here, because, I mean, that's not the only eclipse that's going to happen here, you know? Other ones are going to happen. It's going to look roughly similar. One M equals face reveal? Sure. At one million. One million followers will do face reveal. I, 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 that's fine. I don't care. If I, if I get that popular, then, yeah, I'm down for it. I'm here for it. Whatevs. I'm spending too much time arranging this thing. <laughs> it doesn't look good. I don't know. I don't like it. But I want this plant thing. Hey, Mick. How are you? Face cam a potted plant. Maybe one day. I do have some plants in my room. Maybe we'll have like a plant cam or something instead of the hand cam. We'll just have plant cam and all you do is stare at my plant on my window. I don't know. It do be a special occasion, lucky one if you got if you get to see it. Yeah. Oh, I saw a story about how one, like a I think he was a science teacher or was he something else? Um, he was like promising all his students that he would do a big reunion when the next total total eclipse would be in the U.S. And um, everybody was thinking he was crazy because it's not happening for 50 years or something when he was promising all his students. But they actually did end up happening, and it was kind of cute because it was like a big reunion of all his classes and. A fair amount of people actually showed up. Like, I think like a hundred plus students or former students of his actually showed up. It's kind of cute. It's pretty cute. Tell tree reveal? I, I've shown pictures of my trees though. I have. I have I have shown pictures of my trees. Or at least close up of my... Well, one tree. I've shown... I've shown close ups of my uh, nectarine tree. Which I'm hoping... I don't know if it'll actually end up getting fruits or not. I'm praying it does, but I'm kind of I'm kind of not sure if it's gonna happen because I never see bees out there um, doing their pollinating thing. So I'm not sure if I'll ever get fruits on that on that on that tree. Face reveal, but her face is actually just a giant hydrangea. <laughs> imagine. You'd love to see my plants, sure. Okay. I mean, I'm probably gonna do like a gardening one, like. I, I also I I got I got something for gardening. And I want I wanna try to grow veggies. We'll see if it works. <laughs> I'm just it's gonna I don't know. It's not only house plants, I think. I heard if you start the eclipse and drive at the same time you get cool powers when you see nothing. Mmm. Have you did you try it, Spook? I'm just gonna call you Spook now. Um sometimes I'll call you Spooky still, but for but your name's the Seth Spook, so we'll see. It looks like you're planting Ricky. It kind of does. Wait, how many leaves does Ricky have, Stinkmaster? We'll name we'll name the sticker Ricky. How many leaves does he have? So I can make sure I have enough leaves. Face reveal overrated. Yeah, I mean, yeah. 
It ain't nothing special, really. I'm telling you that right now. I think I sit at a comfy... 5 out of 10. I'll just go in the middle. I, I'm, I'm a 5 I'm a five out of 10, really. So, yeah. No, you ain't gonna get anything special by seeing my face. <laughs> Maybe 4? I don't know. Depends on your tastes, I suppose. self confidence I put it in the middle. I feel like the middle is acceptable, bro. Don't mean it like that. Mm, I, I know you probably don't mean it like that, but I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I'm just saying that it's, um... That's just, that's just it. Oh, thank you for the head pat robot. Hold on, I have to manually do it. Doesn't, doesn't, doesn't automatically for some reason. Got a slushy earlier and mix it with vodka. Ooh. Fancy mix. Is it good? I can't drink vodka straight, so I feel like mixing it with a slushy would be kind of, kind of good. Contingent of bumblebees live under my... Ooh, damn. Your flowers do well. I don't know if I want bumblebees living under my deck. But, yes, them pollinating the plants is very good. Like, I, I'm okay if bumble if some bumblebees were nearby and they came to my, my tree to pollinate it. But I don't want them to live near my house. Like, they can, they can go away at night, please. Thank you. Chili not a 4 out of 10? I don't know, brother. I, I, I ain't nothing special, tell you that much. Ricky just grew a seventh leaf, so I don't know. Oh god, okay, hold on. Well, we have th three leaves so far. Um, I'm gonna try to do seven leaves, we'll see. No, no promises. <laughs> we have three. Garlic is easy to grow, or leafy greens too, and tomatoes. I have! For, I don't even like carrots that much, but I have a crap ton of carrot seeds. I'm thinking we'll even do an experiment. Um, because I, for some reason, couldn't decide which... I don't know what brand of seeds is good. So I went to Home Depot. I don't know what brands of seeds are good. So I thought multi-carrots were pretty cool. Multicolored carrots. So I bought like three different brands of carrot seeds. So I'm thinking we'll do like an experiment to see... Um, which brand is better? Or something like that, maybe. We'll see. I just don't know where to plant it exactly. Please take these head pads you need them. Thank you for the head pad. This isn't ChillVT brand, it's a VTuber channel and- Exactly! Mm-hmm, mm hmm I mean, granted, my content is kind of like all over the place. So I do ASMR on YouTube, I- My YouTube channel is kind of like whatever. I'm, I'm pretty much doing anything. I don't know, brother. So... I, I want to do vlogs again, like I said. So I feel like my YouTube channel doesn't have a specific audience or market other than I'm a VTuber, the end. Um, but I don't, I didn't really want to make a channel just for ASMR or just for video, like edited video, edited VODs, things like that. I kind of just, am, my content is just there. <laughs> I don't know. I never knew how to, difficult it is to piss off bumblebees until they lived here. They're calm. I don't think we have like the big, cute, fuzzy bumblebees that you have, Mick. Um, I don't know what type of bees you call them here, but I, I don't think they're the, they're not the cute, big, fat, fuzzy ones. So I don't know if the ones that are here can be pissed off easily. I've been seeing wasps lately and that ter terrifies me because I know wasps are scarier than um, bees, right? Like they're more aggressive and they sting, they tend to sting more or something because I, on my plum tree, there, there are these bee looking thingies and I'm pretty sure they're wasps because they have like really long legs. Like their back legs are really long. Wasps are mean and will sting you for no reason. Oh shit, I'm scared. Wait, wait, really? That's terrifying. I don't want them. Wait, I don't want them in my yard. Ooh, I'm scared. Vio, how are you? Mint leaves is the absolute easiest plant to grow. I know I'm gonna have mint on my garden, but I need to contain it. I'm, I'm thinking we'll have like, um, just one area of different mint. Because I know mint is very aggressive and it's kind of like a weed, so I don't know. I don't want I don't want the mint to overtake the other plants, you know. 
Content Chill hasn't tried a complete list. I am doing everything. We're gonna do vlogs, we're gonna do ASMR. Um, I'm probably not gonna do edited vods that much because I just don't have fun editing them. I'm sorry. I just don't have fun editing them. So I feel like rather than force myself to make certain content, I'm just gonna make the content I like. Maybe if it does well, then I'll end up liking it. But for now, eh. Eh. Yellow jackets. Ooh, what's the difference between wasps and yellow jackets? I don't know what I'm if I'm what I'm seeing outside are wasps or yellow jackets. But bees can have long legs. No, but it's just the back legs. Like they're flying and then their back legs are really long. It's really creepy. But if they if they just come up to me and sting me for no reason, that's terrifying. I don't want to be outside. Well, I don't know. I'm worried now because I wanted to, you know, let my dogs enjoy the outside too. But if, if there's going to be those bugs there, what if my dogs get stung? Good, how are you? I know it's been so long, Vio. I'm good, I'm good. We're just playing comfy game right now, trying to catch up and stuff. I've been... I've been... I've been busy. This is this, Next week is going to be pretty busy for me. Um, I've been busy and I've been dealing with... I've been dealing with stuff. I've been going through it. Um... But I'm doing better now, so that's good. So that's good. So hopefully more streams more regularly. I I'm, I don't know if I can do a stream schedule yet because I don't know how busy I'm gonna end up being. But that yeah, that's the plan. That's the plan. It's not if not fuzzy, they are the mean kind. Mm, but I didn't get too close to them. See, they look terrifying because they have those creepy long legs. Um, and I'm 99% sure they're not bees. So I didn't want to get too close and see if they're fuzzy or not. Because the bees are cute. The bees are really cute. They kind of just do their own pollinating thing. They don't mind me at all. I mean, granted, the wasp or whatever I saw didn't come after me. But if, if they will sting me for no reason, then I do not want... I do not want to be near them. They're also, like, all up in my plum tree. For... I don't know why. Because my plum tree has no flowers on it. It makes me really sad because I was hoping to get plums, but I guess I'm not going to have any plums this year because there are no flowers. It's only leaves. Um, so, I don't know. How many leaves is this? This is five leaves, so we need two more leaves. So, um... I'll make tiny leaves. So, yeah, I don't know. kind of scared. I don't think they really sing for no reason, but they take a lot less to piss off than a bee. Yeah, so the problem is, if it were to come up to me, for example, and land on me, I do not want it landing on me. Like, I just have to stand still? Like, imagine I just... It comes up to me and then I freak out, because that's just what I do. And then it sees me freaking out and then it stings me. I don't like that, you know? Just get Splora and Booty to edit your videos? No! Why would I- I'm not gonna make them do more work for me, it's sad. I have- I have asked Splora for help before. And I mean, he did a good job, but it also took a while. So, it took too long, so I don't think so. I don't think that's a viable option. Okay, it's kind of looking like a big old mess right now, but... Maybe it's okay. Solo wasps won't typically engage you to scope you out, but if they're in their group and you even show any indication of acknowledgement, ooh, they'll attack you. Had my fair share of running like all hell broke loose from them growing up. Mm, I'm so scared. So I didn't see a whole group of wasps, but there were at least two. There were at least two on my plum tree, so I don't know. Ricky is a big old mess, so it's okay. Okay, okay. I get- I've got an approval to make- make me make this a big old mess, so let's see. But I don't like that that one is... Mm. Let's see. Maybe like this? I think this is six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one more leaf, one more leaf. Wasp loves fruit they eat. Yeah, but my- Oh, that- wait, that kind of sucks then. Because what if they- what if they're on my- I ha I do have a peach tree. It has a few peaches, and I should probably... Technic- it's- it's the smallest tree that I have. And I technically should be removing the, um... <gasps> Thank you for the sub, Wellpour! How are- how are you? Welcome, welcome to the Teddy Teddy Wizard family. 
Um, I should technically be removing all or most of the peaches so that my tree can focus on root development and growing and whatever, but I am being greedy and selfish and I am letting it keep seven fruits, I think. I don't know, that's probably way too many. I should probably thin it down to maybe like two fruits. But I'm letting it keep seven fruits. Um, and I would be so sad if the wasps eat them, you know? Because, yeah, that's the only one that has fruits right now. Because the plum tree is already has already leafed out. And there are no, no fruits on it. Because there were never any flowers on it either. And then... The nectarine tree. I de I never saw any bumblebees out there, so I don't think I don't think that thing is even pollinated, bro. But we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, and then we'll have the tiny seventh leaf. Even though usually plants, like monstera type plants, they kind of their new leaves can be kind of big. There you go. I think that's seven. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven. Perfect. That's seven. There we go. <gasps> Hex, thank you for thank you for the sub. Welcome, welcome. I mean, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Teddy Teddy Buzz family. How are you? How are you? Let's set a screenshot of the game I'm playing in the Discord. Yeah, go for it. I usually don't check Discord in the middle of streaming though, but I'll, I'll see it later. How are you, Hexy? How are you? How are you? I can walk right by a bumblebee in flight in my backyard, and we both seem to go. Oh, my bad, me. <laughs> Oh, my bad, mate. Before continuing on, bubble bees seem to distinguish, be distinguished and educated gentlemen now that I have them living up close in recent years. Hmm. That's good. That's good, that's good. Yeah, I'm I've, I'm not as scared of bees anymore. Uh, well, no. One time, there was a bee outside and I was so fascinated. I was like, oh, look, a cute little bee. And then, you know what that freaking bee did? It, it went on my shirt. I was like, oh, God. I was like, okay, I'll just be still. I'll just stand still, and the bee will eventually fly away. But you know what it did after it landed on my shirt? It went in my fucking shirt, and I started freaking out. Oh my god, it was so embarrassing because I had um, I had some dude over to um, give me a quote for a job that I wanted done for the for the EC. So I had some dude over to give me a quote, and he just saw me like jumping around outside freaking out and he was like i don't know why you're dancing but uh it's kind of embarrassing anyway i didn't hire him um uh, not because of that but because he was expensive <laughs> but that was very embarrassing doing well oh, i'm glad you're doing well hexy i'm glad you're doing well bees are cute bees are cute i'm really sad that there are no bumblebees here because i feel like bumblebees are adorable oh good night angel sleep well sleep well it's nice catching up Thank you for thank you for stopping by. Okay, I think this is the best we could probably do for Ricky. Wait, Stink Master, do you have a cat? I don't know if your cat's white, but do you have a cat? I can't remember if you have a cat. I feel like you do, but oh wait, no, you live in an apartment? Well, no, you can have cats in apartments. Do you like cats? Can I leave the cat on here, or do you want a different animal? Or I guess the only other animals you can have are a bunny or a bird. Oh, you do have a cat. Perfect. Okay, so we'll, we'll keep it like this. So I think I think the sticker is done. I think it looks cute. I'm kind of happy with it. I think I'm kind of happy with it. And it's gonna be named Ricky. I'm gonna save it also. I feel like I'm just gonna save all of the stickers. <laughs> I don't know what I'll do with it, because I can't sell them. But we're just gonna save it. I guess, you know what? If you... <gasps> Wait, your cat looks like a small cow. Wait, can I edit the sticker? I wonder if I can add... What? Can we make it into a cow? Oh, it doesn't get any smaller! I was gonna try to add some dots on it. Mm. Is it worth the effort to try to make the whole thing bigger? I'm trying to think. Wait, you can rotate things by only 15 degrees rather than 45? Oh my god. I could have made it so much. I could have made this a lot better. One dot on the side is good enough. Yeah, but it's like, it's so big. 
It doesn't look good. It looks like it looks like the cat has a hole punch. Ah! What I do? Oh. I see. I see. Okay. Hmm. It's not a sure robot. It, it, it'll take less effort than. It'll take less effort than the other thing. Trying to become bankrupt. Oh, it's probably not. Look. This is the biggest the cat can go. Oh, uh, it's probably not worth the effort. See, because the dot still looks kind of weird. I feel like it doesn't work. Hello? Or maybe... I don't like it. Never mind. Never mind. Okay. We have a free slot. Wait, what happened to our sticker? Wait. Where did Ricky go? Oh my god, hold on. I think we have to remake it. I mean, at least it didn't delete the whole thing. We'll just go like that. Yeah, I think we didn't confirm it. You're right. You know what? Hold on. I want to fix some of these. One second. Because I didn't know that we can rotate it a bit better. I'm gonna fix some of these. Some of these leaves here. So we could rotate it like that. 15 degrees. Something like that. Okay, and then we put the cat. Make the cat a bit bigger. Make it obvious that it has six, seven stems. There. I don't know. I think that looks okay. I think that looks okay. Okay, it's still gonna be named Ricky. I'm gonna save it again. Alright. Okay, so we have confirmed it. Now what? We just go to the shop and it shows up. Ooh, that one's worth nine. Nine coins. Awesome. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Excellent sticker, thank you, thank you. Okay, it's not nighttime yet, so I guess we just make more. I'm running out of ideas already. What else do I do? What other stickers do I make? We got coffee and we got green tea. I feel like they're all gonna be plant-based. At least for now, until we start run until we really run out of ideas. matcha sticker like just straight up matcha wait we'll, ma we'll have it be a matcha sticker but we need to add plants to it somehow somehow this beautiful will be a best-selling sticker i hope so i actually really like it i think i think the effort time and effort it took to make ricky was well worth it hmm I feel like this is too simple, but it's nice and simple, like a leaf right there, you know? I wonder... hold on. Is that weird if it's coming out of the cup? Kind of weird. Mm. What else do we do here? We have matcha. Oh, let's put like a flower here. Mm, hold on. Something like this? 
I think a big old gamers logo right in the middle. But complete. I don't understand why it says gamers. I understand wholesome or handmade here, but then games. <laughs> I feel like most of the most of the assets that they give you are not even related to games at the beginning. So I don't fully get it. I don't fully get it. Something simple like this. Like that? Does that even look like a cup of tea? I can't tell if it looks too obscure. With the leaf, leaf in the way. It doesn't quite look like a cup of tea. I don't know why I'm putting too much thought into this, as if I'm actually gonna sell it. And make real monies. Maybe like that. And then... I don't like any of this text, but... You're immersed is all, I guess so. I mean, it, it's comfy, it's a fun game, I like the music too. You'd buy it with real money? Aw, thank you. Ooh, we should make a coffee one, Mango, because you like coffee, huh? <gasps> Ooh, wait, let's make the... I wonder... Will it let me make... Will it let me, like, copy a sticker and then just make a... Just replace the cup with a coffee cup? Because I want this in the exact same spot. Okay, let's, let's make that one. We'll call it tea. We'll call it tea time. Oh, it doesn't let me copy it. Okay. Well, we'll just remake it and then we'll call it coffee time. I guess. <gasps> Kobe, how are you? What have you been up to? This game is so aesthetic. It's cute. It's a really cute game. And I love the music. It's so comfy. Okay, I don't think it's gonna be the exact same copy of the... <laughs> I think these flowers are a lot bigger too. not the right angle, possibly, but it's the same concept, I think. Your potos and plant and your succulent are getting new leaves. Ooh, nice! Did you ever end up, um, did you end up repotting it, Kobe, or no? That's exciting, though. I always like it when plants get new leaves. It's so cool. I'm still waiting for my, my Calathea to have a new leaf. Like, I was just checking, um, because I have, like, this app. Um, I have this app that tracks all my plants, so I can keep track of when I watered it, when I fertilized the plants and whatever. And also it sends me reminders, but I don't usually follow the water reminders because sometimes it tells me to water it too early. Because sometimes the, um, the plant, the, the soil is still, still kind of moist, so I don't bother to water yet um but i do have but yeah um i was checking because there's like a little notes section and i put in the notes section that my calathea started having i noticed a new leaf beginning of march and it's already april it's almost mid-april and the leaf still hasn't unfurled i don't know why i just repotted it the other day because i made new potting mix and oh my gosh the calathea was so root bound that might be why it didn't... That might be why it hasn't unfurled the leaf yet. But the the only other pot I had was only a little bit bigger. So I don't even know if repotting it really benefited it. So, I mean, I teased the roots of it so that it's not um, as root bound, but we'll see. Ah, you didn't repot it. You're too scared. You love repot... I don't like repotting because I'm worried about the plants dying. But some of the... um. Some of my plants were not doing well in the potting mix that I made, because... We could try a different flower, or we could do the blue one. Well, no, red is the only one that has, um... That has the stem, though. But we could possibly replace it with a blue one, if it'll be the same size. Mmm, it doesn't cover it perfectly. I don't want to see that little bit of red. 
And I think that's too big. Nah, we'll keep it. We'll keep it red. But yeah, I don't really like repotting Kobe because some of the plants don't take well to it. But um, some of my, my ugh, some of my plants needed it because, like I said, um, they were root bound or pot bound or whatever you want to call it. And then some of them don't like the new soil that I that I repotted it to because um, the the potting mix that I made was not that great. I don't know. I tried. I tried to follow like what people said to use, so I used like a a well draining supposedly well draining succulent mix and then I, I even added perlite and stuff but it was i don't know i don't know if it's the brand that i got but it was just not happy some of, some of the plants were not happy in there and some of them even died i'm really sad one of them was doing really well and then all of a sudden two of the stems died which is really strange but anyway i repotted it and hopefully it's going to be happier in the different more expensive potting mix that i made um which I should have just started from the start rather than, you know, wasting the potting mix on something that was inferior, I suppose, and that my plants did not like as much. I feel like because I wanted to save money, but in the end, I ended up spending more money because the plants didn't like the mix. It sucks. It's sad. Too bad. But anyway, root bound. Um, so you know how the plants are... I mean, you know how plants have roots, so... Um, if the pot is like too small for if the pot is too small for the plant um like eventually because you know when the plant gets bigger it's gonna grow longer roots and because you know when it's in the ground the roots just keep spreading out but when it, when it's in a pot it only has the pot to go so the roots are gonna kind of circle around the pot and that's not good so you can usually tell if a plant is root bound if um, if your if your if your pot has drainage holes, then usually you'll see the roots kind of coming out of the drainage holes. That means that there's like barely any space left for the roots of the plant that it's already coming out of the holes, you know. And that's how you know when to repot. Um, if you don't have drainage holes, then I guess you just have to lift lift it from the soil if you can, and then check its roots that way, I suppose. I guess that's the only thing you can really do. Um, so yeah, that's that 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 yeah. Uh, I can't talk, so that's what it is. Hmm. Favorite things are repotting in Home Depot. I I don't like repotting, like I said, because I feel like the plants die, and then the my first time repotting was a nightmare. It was not good because a lot of my plants were not happy with the mix that I made, even though. Even though I used a, um, a a succulent, a cactus mix, which which means it shouldn't hold too much moisture, but it still did. Even though I used the cactus mix, and then I added a bunch of perlite, which is supposed to help with drainage, and I added other stuff to it to kind of increase the drainage even more, it still didn't like it, which is really weird. And it still held up the moisture too much to the point that I was growing mushrooms in. I was growing mushrooms in some of the plants. I mean, not not in some of the plants. All the pots have mushrooms in it, because it was just retaining too much moisture. It's kind of ridiculous. So we'll see. I, I I made a different potting mix, which is what people were recommending before, rather than buying like potting mix from the store. Um, potting mix, like, I mean. Even though I bought potting mix from the store, I still added stuff to it. But people were recommending not to do potting mix at all. Easy fix, less water. Yeah, but even then, some of my plants, like, when I did water it, um, because I wanted to give them a deep watering if I do water, because it retained moisture for so long, um, some of the some of them, like, were not happy with it. Even, even though I would water less often because I would deep water... When it was time to water, they were not happy because it didn't drain fast enough, I guess. So hopefully, the new mix that I have is better. We'll see. You're so plant smart? I don't know. I- Kobe, some of my plants are dying, so I don't think I'm plant smart. I- I just- I just know what I know off of, like, YouTube videos and stuff. But even then, it's not like- it doesn't mean that it always works. Because they're still dying sometimes. Fingers crossed for my plants. Thank you, Mango. Maybe I don't know if I'll I don't know if I'll include my plants in a vlog because that's a lot to look around <laughs> to like um 
include it. But maybe I'll like include like a small video of it. But I think I think if I do a vlog thingy, it'll be for the garden um thing that I want to start. And then I'll probably the vlog will just be, you know, checking the progress of the checking the progress of the um of the garden, I suppose. Cuz I think I think we really will do a, a a seed contest for the carrot seeds, I think. I think do you name your plants? Do I name mm. No, not really. I mean, I there are some plants I have to name because from one of the previous subathons, some people landed on name a plant and I was going to have them choose the plant to name. But I've been waiting to see if the plants survive before I let them choose. And some of the plants don't look too happy. And now that I repotted some of the plants again, um, I'm gonna wait to see if those ones survive before they can... Can I use this as my website icon? <laughs> Hello? Uh, why? Because it's coffee? I mean, I don't know if you're allowed to. Don't ask me, ask the publisher of the game, bro. Maybe that's why they don't keep surviving. You gotta give them a name and get more attached. I mean, I like all my plants. Well, not all. Some of them are just okay. But I like most of them. I take good care of them. Some of them I just name after um, what the nursery named them. Like, for example, I have a Fitonia plant. And they named it... The random name they gave it was Juanita Fitonia. So I just call it Juanita. My little Juanita. <laughs> and that, that's the name of the... That's what I call the plant. Um... But I guess that's because because that's what the nursery called it. And same with this other Fitonia I have. The nursery calls it Pink Angel, so that's what I call it. I mean, that's its name. Even though the proper name is Fitonia, I guess. Mm, trying to think. Do, do my, mm, I don't think most of my plants have names. But people have to name the plants. But like I said, I'm waiting to see if they survive before I send pictures so people can choose which plant they want to name. Well, I, I don't know. I mean, I am able to hear. See, I can make it and then I can save it. I'll send it to you. And I don't know what you're gonna do with it. You do, you do what you want with it. So we have tea time and we have coffee time. And then I think it's night time now. Does this mean it's night time or does it mean it's daytime? When it's red. Can I just keep making more or what? I guess maybe we'll... Wow, coffee time is worth the least? Why? Look, coffee time is only worth five. Whereas tea time is worth six. <laughs> Ricky is still the most expensive at nine. That's crazy. I wish I could edit. Oh wait, can you? Oh, you can't. No. I wish I could edit the sticker. Because look, I'm seeing that the flower is not as big. The flower is not as big. I kind of want to remake it. Hold on. Ricky stays winning. Hey, Ricky. I hope Ricky sells well. I really do. Hold on. We're going to remake it. I don't like that the flower is... Oh no! I can't make another sticker. Fuck! Well, I guess the coffee time won't sell. I shouldn't have deleted it. Oh man. Okay, we go sleep then. Wait, we have three open or we have orders? Oops. I didn't know we had orders for stickers. My bad. Oh, it's over here. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, okay, hold on. Let me make let me just make the coffee sticker again. We can't have only tea time and no coffee time. Hello. Let me make this real quick. I don't know how big this... Oh, no, not that small. I don't know exactly what angle it's supposed to be at. Spends nine years speaking about how she takes care of and loves flowers. Proceeds to get in the game. No, I don't like how the flower... No, I like flowers. I don't like how the flower was too small. Compared to the... For coffee time compared to tea time. I want it to be even. I don't think this is the right angle, but you know what? I think we'll leave it like that. Hey, Lynn! How are you? 
How's your triplin? Oh my god, I didn't put the flower emote. I'm sorry, I totally forgot. I'll put the flower emote. Later. Soon, I promise, I promise. Can't hear you because I'm hecka loud, but good to see you. Ah, okay, no worries, no worries. I hope you're doing well, though. I hope you're doing well. And it's, ni it's nice to see you, too. I hope you enjoyed your trip, even though you can't hear me. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed your trip. Okay. Hopefully this is better. Coffee time. Okay. That took up so much of my day, just making that one sticker. Okay, it looks a bit better. It's not quite the same angle. Oh, that's pissing me off. Mmm. I like how the flowers of this one are not where the coffee cup is. But that would waste another portion of the day just to... Thank you for the head, Patlin. Thank you, thank you. Thank you for being listening in the Teddy Teddy Buzz Army. I should have taken a screenshot of this. So I can reference it. Oh my god. Am I gonna waste another part of a day? No, I won't. Well, we, maybe we'll replace this at some point. But for now, we'll keep that. We gotta pack. We gotta pack some stickers. Oh wait, we can't. We have to print them out. Oh, Patrick. Okay, so nobody wants to. Oh, one person. Some people want tea time. Okay, so a lot of people want the frog. And then Ricky, and then. Tea time, okay. So I think we have enough frog stickers. So let's print out a good amount of Ricky. Okay, we're gonna maximize our space here. And I'm wondering if we can fit the tea time somewhere in here. I don't think we got as many tea time orders. Maybe we'll just have one whole sheet of Ricky. Mm. I don't know if this is the best use of our space here. At Taipei City Mall with all the weed stuff? Ooh. I hope you're enjoying it. Okay, we can fit some. I wonder how Taipei City Mall compares to, like, being in Akihabara or something. We can fit some, not a lot. I wonder if this is better. Mmm. Is that better? Oh, we could fit. We can't fit anything here, but if we go like this. I, th oop. I think this slightly maximizes the space more. Not really. I think it's roughly the same. I don't... But whatever. We'll go with it. We'll pretend we're maximizing space this way. Even though I think... I don't think we gain enough sticker space this way. Even if we do this. Yeah, see? We can't fit that in there. Damn. Okay. Well, that looks good enough. Save. And we'll print two copies of that. Then nobody ordered coffee time, so I think... Well, because we just made coffee time today, so I think we're not gonna print that out yet. Okay, so this person ordered three of the frog. Does it really matter how you pack it? I feel like it doesn't matter because it's just going to shift. But you know what? We'll pretend. Oh, I didn't read the message. Oops, I'm sorry. Oh, I guess there was no message. So let me, let me see who ordered the most because we still got to give candy to somebody. Look at all this candy we have. Eh? Yeah, okay. Oh, unless... The candy isn't an order, right? Is that just something you can get for free? Let's see, who spent the most? Ooh, 48. Okay, so maybe this person spent 48. 
So maybe we'll give them some free candy. No, no, no. We'll give the candy if somebody spends over 100. I think that's the plan. You've got to spend over 100 to get free candies. Okay, we'll go with this more natural looking um, filling. Looking at your cute plant stickers really cheered me up. You know, right now everything seems kind of bad. Damn. I truly needed this. Thank you. Aww. I'm, I'm glad I could be of help, sir. And he kind of looks like Dracula. <laughs> and he wants five of these. I'm glad, I'm glad that my stickers could cheer them up. That makes me happy. To the point that they ordered five of the same sticker. Crazy. Here you go. Hold on to me. Arrange this nicely for them. Because they gave me, they gave me a nice comment. And they said I cheered them up and that makes me happy. There we go. There we go, my friend. I was looking for animal stickers and want to give them to a friend who is not feeling very well at the moment. I think your stickers might cheer him up. Best Patrick. Aww. Why did they give me such nice... Do you guys fill in the notes? Do you guys actually give notes? When... You know what? You know how, like, in some orders, they let you put a note to the seller, like... Is that what that's for? Actually writing this cute stuff? I thought it was just for writing whatever, you know, something related to your order and not writing cute stuff like this. Yeah, they want... They want them to cheer up, so we'll put cheerful looking... Cheerful looking stuff. Yellow is cheerful and I don't know. I don't know if green is cheerful, but I think that's okay. Hey Aether, how are you? Finally, a sticker shop with motives that I like. What are the motives of my sticker shop? I don't know. But here you go, thank you for ordering three stickers, my friend. Oh my god, we're running out of time. Oh, does this mean the deadline is in two days? Is that what that means? I don't know what that means. I'm gonna assume that's what that means. Um, okay, so there's no notes from these people, so no notes, you get the you get the basic you get the basic packaging. Ooh, it's almost nighttime. I don't know if I should pack more stickers or mail some out. Hmm. Finish red carpet and Valo into green carpet in Apex A. Hey, at least you're winning somewhere. But damn, I'm sorry about the red carpet in Valo. I hope you still had fun, but hey, at least you got green carpet in Apex. That's good. That's good at the very least. I wrote thanks for the pizza a few times when ordering from a small local shop, and each time I got a drawing of a cartoon pizza slice on leg. <laughs> Got to pizza slice on leg saying thanks for the business either in sharpie in the box or in arranged in arranged pepperoni what that's amazing mick all that effort that's cute though i don't wait how did they make a whole pizza slice out of pepperoni what do you mean that's amazing i don't have enough time to pack another order damn All right, well, we packed our orders, so at least we should be able to mail them out in a bit. Let's just keep, let's keep, let's pack the rest. Oh, wait, we don't, we need more of the tea stickers. Mm. Nobody ordered coffee time. What in the world? Wow, that's amazing. Huh? Nobody likes coffee? Is it cause is it's it's because it's not the same, huh? It's because of this. The the stem is not outside of the cup and they don't like that. That's probably it. Hold on. I'm gonna remake it. I'm gonna go insane. I'm gonna remake it. For the third time. I'm gonna cop I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna screenshot this so I can make it look just like tea time, except Except co it's coffee. <laughs> what do you mean everyone hates you? 
Are you are you coffee now, Mango? You're not you're not you're not you're not a mango. Okay. We're gonna do this properly. You've got this one. Oh my God! How is this? Mango flavor. Oh, is that good? <laughs> Would that be good? I don't know about that, my friend. Mango flavored coffee. It's a little questionable. Tolerance is all I ask for, really. I think. Well, no, I guess it can be coffee with mango notes. That doesn't sound awful. I think that. I, I'd be down to try that. I'd be down to try that. And I keep tabbing between. I think. Oh no, maybe a little bit closer this way. A little bit lower. And this one like that. A little bit higher. Okay, I'm insane. But I think this is the closest we can get to tea time. We're gonna name it now. Okay. Let's see. It's still a little bit off, but you know what? It's not bad. It's not bad. <gasps> Look, and it's worth the same now. It's also worth six. Wow, that just that tiny bit sticking out made it worth one more coin. That's amazing. Okay, let's pack the rest of the orders and then we'll mail this out. Wait, no, I said if you don't leave a note. Oh, wait, no, we have to print more of the tea time. Hold on. Not sure if other people mentioned earlier, but congrats on being the number one sticky business streamer on Twitch. Oh my god. Thank you, thank you. Uh, let me guess, I am the only sticky business streamer on Twitch right now. But hey, that's still an achievement, so thank you, thank you for the congrats, I, I appreciate it. I mean, to be fair, I actually really, I'm actually really enjoying this game, it's really chill. I like the music. I'm liking the music and it's pretty chill. Oh, there's somebody else streaming it. Nice! Wow, we can fit so many more stickers in here if we arrange it ourselves. I think this is a fun, comfy game to stream. If you just want to be chatting the whole time as well. Kind of like... Kind of like Power Wash Simulator. I feel like Power Wash Simulator is like... A lot of just chatting in a way and... the. The power washing part is just the background. Oops, what'd I do? Can this fit? Damn, it can't fit. Damn, okay. Well... Chell has sticky hands. What do you mean? I do not. I wash my hands, thank you very much. But he's- I didn't steal anything! What makes you think I stole something? I'm- oh, uh, oh, mean. I went to the doctor's office the other day and um, I needed some alcohol wipes and I kind of took some, but I kind of took some from the drawer, not the drawer, I kind of took some, like it was just sitting there on top and I kind of took some from the doctor's office at the exact same time the nurse was walking in. <laughs> I swear to god, I don't know, she didn't say anything, but she might have seen me pocket some of those alcohol wipes. I don't know for sure. I, I didn't take like a crap ton, okay? It's not like I took the whole box, but I'm 99% sure she saw me take the alcohol wipes. But hey, alcohol wipes are so much more convenient than getting a bottle of rubbing alcohol, you know? Hold on, I want to make sure these are equal amounts. So, three, five, seven, nine. This is six, so we need to have nine of these. I mean, three more. And I think, yeah, we should be able to fit 
three more? <gasps> no, we can't fit three more? Please. Please. No, I don't want it to be an uneven number. Only eight of the coffee and three of the... How do we do this? How do we do this? Let me print three of these. Sticky fingers can... Yeah, yeah, no, that's why That's why I was talking about how I took the uh, rubbing out al The alcohol wipes from the doctor's office and they totally saw me. Hey, cat, how are you? How have you been? Oh my god, it's been a while. I hope you've been good. Hope you've been doing well. I will fit four of these in a line. I swear to God. I will find a way. There has to be a way to fit four of these, man. Ooh, Ofkai Expo. What are you doing as staff? I've never been... I don't know if... I don't know. I'm kind of like over conventions now. But I... It sounds interesting though. Ofkai. Ooh, the AV IT department. Nice. Now, do they overwork you as staff? Because I know um, Anime Expo staff. I was staff for a few years at Anime Expo. And oh my god. Even if I was just staff at the maid cafe, like, bro. The amount of hours you have to put in just to get a free hotel and free badge. Mm, made it not worth it, in my opinion. I'd rather just pay for that myself. But if it's not too much work, then... And you, if it's not too much work and you still have time to actually enjoy the, the convention, then it's totally worth it, I think. Worked at Fanime for much of the past 10 years, so this is the first year I'm staffing the con. Ah, okay. Do they have like a... Do they differentiate between staff and volunteers? Because I know... for My only experience with volunteering and staffing is with Anime Expo. I know for Anime Expo... Um, Staff get free hotel and free badge, but like there's a certain amount of hours you have to um, work to get compensated. Otherwise, volunteering, it's a lot less hours, but it's only a free badge. So I'm curious if the other cons are the same way in how they designate staff versus um, volunteer. Man, I actually don't know if we can fit this, bro. I'm trying. See, if this could be rotated... Like... Not 90 degrees... It'd be good. Or maybe... Oh, <gasps> wait, maybe? Oh my god, wait, I think we did it. I think this was the secret, hold on. Is this an even amount? Three, five, seven, nine... Six, nine. Okay. <gasps> Yay! Okay, so we do have nine of each sticker. Perfect. Then we'll print more of those. Perfect. Aw, oh, cat! Thank you so much for re-enlisting in the Teddy Teddy Bulls Army. Thank you, thank you. The difference is that you go in as a paid attendee then can work as a volunteer, though depending on your hours work, you can... Oh, you get comped. I see, I see. Wait, do you get... So as staff, do you get, like, hotel and stuff? I hope they- I hope you do, because I imagine staff you get more- you have to work a few more hours. Because that's why I stopped staffing at AX, because, um... The amount of hours they had you work... At least, again, at least for the maid cafe. I don't know if how it is for the other departments, because maid cafe was open early, all the way to, like, late. Um, we had late shows, so... It was, like, it was just not worth it. This like this. Did you work as one of the maids? Yeah, yeah, I worked as one of the maids. Maid Chia. Hmm. Long time ago. Long time ago. It was fun. It was fun. Don't get me wrong. I thought it was really cute when um, because there. Was, I don't know if we still have a Facebook page, but we had a Facebook page and. 
people would post comments on it and then one of them one of them was even like um oh i had so much fun and my favorite my favorite um i liked all the performances and my favorite one was the one where my maid you know chiel uh, was dancing and i was like oh you're so sweet i can't believe you remember me i thought it was adorable I mean, it made me very happy <laughs> Worked in the gaming hall, hall uh, Oh wow, I read that as gaming hell first. Gaming halls, PC gaming area, frequently bringing gear notable. Several of my Cisco switch. Oh no, notably several of my Cisco switches. Oh, I see. That sounds kind of cool though. That sounds fun. To me, that sounds fun. I mean, various things. We're working as staff for different things in anime. I mean, at a anime con sounds fun. Like I had a friend. Had I have a friend? Not had. Have. They're still my friend. <laughs> I have a friend um, that I don't know if they still do it, but they would always they would always do like the photography stuff for AX. Um, they were staff there, and they seemed like they were stressed out like crazy, but they also seemed to really enjoy it. So it seems like it could be fun for sure. Surely you're missed by all the patrons in the cafe. Nah, it, I stop. I stop. I stopped doing that a while ago. I don't think anybody even remembers me, bro. I was only I was only a maid for a few years. Not not too long. Because again, it, I just found that it wasn't worth it, especially when especially when I got my own job and could pay for my own ticket and hotel. It just wasn't worth it to work the cafe cuz then I can't, I can't even I don't even have time to hang out with friends, you know, cuz I had friends flying in from other states or um, from other cities and I would never be able to hang out with them because I was always working the cafe. It was not worth it. I'd rather just pay the money so I have more time for myself, you know? Did you do the... No, I did not do the gritty. <laughs> I don't even... Was the gritty even... The gritty wasn't even popular, I think. That was my time at Fanime Hotels. We still have to pay for it, but at a... Okay, at least you get a discount of it. That sucks, though. That you don't get it for free. Because that was the one nice thing. You got it for free with AX. But, I mean, they stuffed a bunch of people in a room. Wait, did they? I can't remember. I can't remember if we stuffed a bunch of people in a room. Or if we were all just not wanting to stay in our own respective rooms. And we all kind of just slept together in one big room. <laughs> I can't remember anymore. It's been that long. Whether you get a hotel for free depends largely on the con. Mm, that's understandable. They have their, their own budgets and stuff, you know? See, for me, I always look at it from, like, value. So if it's not worth it, value-wise, to work the con, then I wouldn't do it. So that's why I don't do it. But I guess... You can also look at it as like a fun kind of thing. That's probably a better way to look at it. Man, I gotta mail these out. Okay, oh, this is our last one. Okay. Perfect. I think I'll still have time to mail these out, hopefully. No, not an orgy. Don't be bad. No, don't be bad. We were, we were good. We're good and innocent. Mm. We were good. We were good and cute maids and butlers and stuff. But I was, I was one of them, we had a, there was a... Oh, I also stopped, I also stopped doing it, cause... I just wasn't comfortable. <laughs> uh, cause we started having the made, um... After dark thing, where, you know... You dress up in like, bunny suits and shit, and I was like, yeah, I don't really wanna do that, bro. So... That's another reason why I quit. So you ain't gonna see but <gasps> Oh, shit! I have Easter artwork I was gonna share with you guys. Bunny suit. Oh my god, I forgot I had Easter artwork. I'll post it in Discord later. Um, I had Easter artwork I was gonna share. <laughs> I totally forgot. Talking, talking about bunny suits reminded me of that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we've packed everything. Perfect. Let's go and bring them. Oh, <gasps> 10 orders. We have 10 orders. Look. I didn't even realize we had 10 orders. Oh, we got a meal out. There you go. Chiel died for his sins, what do you mean? Oh, Easter? That's why I say I see. 
Mm, what should we do now? Do we we can print more or we can make more stickers? Wow, I only have six coins. I don't think I can even... I guess I can make another sticker. I can't print more because I don't have enough money to print. How sad is that? I don't have enough money to print another page of stickers. Did I not get money from selling stickers? How do I not have enough money to print more stickers? That's going to be a problem if somebody orders some stuff. Oh my goodness. Well, I don't know what to do now. I get... Oh, I don't have enough time to make another sticker. Okay, I guess I just sleep then. I'll hear all the messages. Oh, I saw I missed one. I missed this one. Music is important for my students. I don't get it. Wait, why is this one locked? I don't understand this message. I don't have any stickers that have to do with music. Oh, these are the ones I haven't unlocked yet. And then these are the... I'm guessing this is how you unlock the message. Like, this is a hint. I love sweet food. And the hint is music is important. Okay. Well, I'll see what I can do with the plants. Let's see. Hey, Chris! How are you? How are you? Is this what it feels like to be an artist living off of commissions? I guess so. I don't know. I have no idea. I don't live that life, but perhaps I imagine we're starving artists right now. I imagine you can't afford coffee by the time you can't afford little stickers, man. Okay, Alan, we're gonna sleep. Maybe, maybe if we sleep, we'll get money. I don't know. <gasps> ooh, ooh. Okay. I don't know what any of this means. So I guess I should be trying to use all the different assets. Because you get experience for each asset. <gasps> we have 255 coins now. Hell yeah. And then we have 120 hearts. Ooh, we might be able to pick up another asset. I think. Well, let me finish my drink. I just realized I didn't finish my drink yet. I hear a bunch of nasty stories about the kind of stuff people getting in positions of power at cons just for their own. Mm hmm. I mean, that didn't happen, at least for the maid cafe, but I'm sure it happens at some places. I'm sure it does. What sort of drink you got? It's just boba. Strawberry, strawberry milk tea boba. It's surprisingly good. Because it's from one of those, um,. Make it yourself kind of thing. Like one of those home kits. I didn't think it would be actually good, but it's pretty good. But the ice already melted, so I need to hurry up and finish it. Because it's it's just... It's kind of just watery milk now, which is not that great. Okay, good enough. Okay, let's see what we can upgrade. Let's get more stuff for making stickers. Um, okay, let's get more plants. Ooh, they have mushrooms. Ooh, lavender. <gasps> they have different pots. Wow, okay, we're gonna, probably gonna get most of these plant stuff, so. Let me get these two. So I think, are the hearts the only thing that is used? Oh, you can get, oh. I don't know what this is. I really don't know what this is. And the tutorial didn't explain what this is. For this reason that I order no or less ice. Yeah, I usually get less ice when I order drinks. Also because sometimes they give you a little bit more drink too. A really negligible amount, but sometimes they give you a little bit more drink. I don't, I don't know what this is for. I know this is probably for the color of the border. I have no idea what this one is, so I'm not gonna order that. Um, okay, and we can't... <gasps> we can afford these! But people just order the sticker itself, not the paper that it's printed on, right? So... I feel like these aren't worth it. 
at least at this point of my shop. Okay, let's buy some... Okay, lavender seems cool. I think we're gonna keep with the theme and always have plants. But we'll have plants and other stuff, perhaps. <gasps> Ooh, look! Boba. Let's buy a boba. And then... You know, let's buy both bobas. Okay, now we're now we're kind of broke. We're broke. We're out of hearts. Make my drinks better than any tea coffee house at home for a fraction of cost. Eating well by way of less money. Mmm. It's definitely cheaper to make it by yourself, that's for sure. Do what what kind of what kind of coffee do you make, Mick? Like what do you what do you use to make your coffee? I usually I don't have anything fancy. I just I I pour over is nice and easy though. I think I have an idea. Put that in the straw. Oh, it doesn't actually go in the straw, but it kind of looks like it does. Or maybe you know, hold on, maybe this will go in the front. I don't know if this idea will work. Let's see. Kind of want to cover. Mm. Got a family who works at a local coffee company, so I'm hooked up with gourmet stuff. Ooh, nice. That helps. Definitely a good base to begin with. But the question is, if you just put it into... Um, like a Mr. Coffee coffee maker. That ain't that ain't great. <laughs> I feel like that's a waste of money. So do you do you actually do like all the fancy different methods of making coffee or do you just put it into a Mr. Coffee coffee maker? I just have plain tea and coffee at home except when I'm feeling like making my own boba. <gasps> so you do make your own boba crease. That's crazy. I mean, I, I don't think it's that hard to do. But I, I like the DIY boba kits. So far, the one that I've tried, the one brand that I've tried has been good. Okay, maybe my plan doesn't work. Type of coffee maker making this major and huge difference is a bit of a meme. How so? Because I could tell you, I definitely think pour over is a lot better than um, a coffee machine, and I and I think for me, siphon is probably my favorite method of coffee making. But siphon coffee is just too much work, and usually more expensive. And oh my god, siphon coffee is so hot when you get it. It's insane. exaggerated and blown way out of proportion. So what you're telling me is that you do use a Mr. Coffee coffee maker? No, no shame if you do. No shame if you do. <laughs> I'm just curious. Let's flip this. Oh, I didn't mean to flip it that way. That's fine. Put it there, uh, no. Ooh, let's see, let's put it like this. Okay, I don't think this is working quite as I planned, but you know what? We'll keep it. I wonder if we should put a background to it. I don't know if that'll make it look better or worse. I don't really like this background. No, this color is awful. Okay, we're not gonna keep that background. Much if you're familiar with the concept of banter. Even something like this is not only as an American, but a Californian. I don't know why you gotta bring up where I'm from out of this. Well, what I'm saying is you're not answering my question on how you make your coffee. That's the problem we're having here. 
You're avoiding you're avoiding answering my question. If you just answered my question, then it would be good, man. Wait, so are you saying you don't? So what? So do you actually get fancy coffee? And if you do, how do you make your fancy coffee? That's what I want to know. Curious minds want to know. I have a Mr. Coffee, actually a Cuisinart, and I still use my V60 regularly. Yeah, because I feel like pour over is better. I don't know. I just, I don't have a coffee machine. I don't have a coffee maker. I just have my pour over, my blue bottle. But, um, I did have a miss, I did get a free Mr. Coffee espresso maker at some point, and wow, that was awful. It was pretty, I mean, it was free. Number one, it was free, and number two, it's a Mr. Coffee espresso maker. So it was only worth how much? I don't know, but it was, it was not great. I ended up, I ended up giving it away to somebody else because I was like, yeah. I mean, to be fair, I've had like espresso that's been properly made. Um, from other places, and I'm still not a fan. I think I'm just not a big fan of espresso. I don't know. I like lattes, though. But... Because that uses espresso, but obviously that's heavily diluted with milk and stuff. Black tea and regular old coffee machine yields the same results as anything else. No matter which incompetent YouTuber who just loves the sound of his own voice tells you otherwise. Mm. I don't know. I've, I will say from personal experience, I disagree. At least on the coffee portion of it. I don't know. Tea. I mean, there's only. I don't think there's a big from tea from a tea standpoint. I don't. Well, I guess I don't drink tea enough. So I mean, I drink tea, but I don't. Mm, I don't drink bag tea bags often enough to really say whether there's a big difference between tea bags and loose leaf tea. Um, but I've definitely noticed a, diff a difference um, with tea quality, for sure. I there was this one like I I, I like Earl Grey tea, for example, and I but I buy Earl Grey loose leaf tea online. And then one time when I went to Canada, um, there was a tea shop in one of the big markets. I forgot what it was called. One of the big markets. There's a tea shop. And oh my god, the the I bought some Earl Grey loose leaf from there, and oh my god, the quality so much better. It's so good, so good. I'm kind of sad. I, I think I, I think I hope I used it, all of it up already. Otherwise, it's probably bad by now. I guess it doesn't go bad. Tea doesn't go bad, but I'm sure it's lost some of its potency and stuff. Tea bags are like basically scraps. Like nice stuff is loose. Leaf. Yeah, I know. I know the nice stuff is loose leaf, and the tea bags are just like little tiny pieces of the tea the leaves but at least from what i've tried like i'm content with um i'm content with tea out of a tea bag i'm fine with that if i want tea and that's all i have i'm fine but for coffee i tend to not like coffee that's made from a coffee maker i will drink it if that's all like, if, that's, if that's all that's available like for example at a donut shop and that's the only coffee they have. Oh my god, donut shop be cof donut donut shop coffee is so bitter. But if at the donut shop that's the only thing that they have available, I'll drink it. It's not but I but that's just because I, I would need coffee. Like I'm really sleepy, I need coffee. I don't I wouldn't drink that type of coffee because oh I'm craving coffee or you know I'm I'm feel you know I coffee sounds like a good thing to drink right now kind of thing like that only happens with you know better other better brew methods like pour over and stuff you know what i mean donut shop coffee is best drunk with a donut mm -hmm. well i mean you gotta cut the bitterness of the coffee somehow so that's that's what the donuts are for you know nice and sweet if you have the loose leaves and just put them in the tea bags, they're just better tea bags. Mm, I've seen them sell like the tea bag, like the, like the tea bags on that you just put the loose leaf into. I've seen. I haven't tried them myself, but I've seen that. 
coffee machine being like a Keurig. No, no, no. Like, I mean, yeah, a Keurig type thing is another thing. But I mean, you know, like the drip coffee machine that they have at a donut shop or a diner or something like that. That type of coffee where it kind of just percolates through all the thing and then it just sits there on the warmer and just sits there and just sits there and then gets grosser and grosser until it becomes a black sludge in the pot. Um, that, that's the one I'm talking about. Canada's British Commonwealth nation, so I guess they have better tea than the USA at times? Mm, maybe, I don't know. Perhaps. But I think it was just because there was a difference between buying tea at a specialty tea shop versus buying tea online. I think that's one of the, where one of the main differences lies. Being to think you may simply not know how to use a coffee machine properly. I feel like maybe you don't know how to do pour over or you don't know how to properly use a V60 or you don't know how to you properly use a Chemex or Siphon or any of the other Aeropress, other brew methods I'm talking about. Maybe that's why you're content with that kind of stuff? I don't know. Need to reboot because I installed Dante Virtual Audio Card. Okay, okay, no worries. You can use them tea bags for cooking as well. Ooh, like how so? I'm, I don't cook very much, so I don't know. I don't drink coffee. How is it supposed to be made? I mean, there are different ways you can make coffee. Obviously, there's a coffee maker that you can use. Um, but there's other methods like pour over. Like I said, there's pour over, there's Chemex. There, or I guess Chemex is kind of like pour over in a way, I think. Or at least it seems like it is. Um, you can use an Aeropress. I don't know. I'm not... I, I drink coffee. I'm not a big coffee maker. So... My friends are all into coffee. Um, I am not. I'll drink it. Like, they, we have like freaking... We have like get-togethers to try out all the different beans and stuff. Um, but I, and I'll drink it. If they want to sample beans, I'll drink it. I don't care. Um, but I am not... I don't, I don't partake in the making process of it. I just watch them make coffee. That's it. Not K-mix, Chemex. Uh, like chemical? I guess? Chem and then X. Hmm. Well, EX, rather. I don't know what in the heck any of that stuff is and sounds like a bunch of ideas that are born in Cali and die in Cali. I mean, it's not, though. A lot of these stuff are not all made in Cali. A lot of... I feel like... Just drink coffee if you like... See, Mike, Mick, you don't even know what you're talking about. If you don't even... How can you say that, um... You know, coffee machine is like the best way to drink coffee when you haven't even tried the other methods of making coffee. I don't think you have... I don't think you can make an argument here because you have no experience. I'm sorry. I don't think... what you're Because you have never tried it and you just watched somebody on YouTube um, make a video about different ways to make coffee. Now you have formed your experience without ever trying the product. I don't think that's fair. <laughs> I don't know. So I'm sorry, but I don't think your experience, um, your non-experience counts. Since when was this so complicated and where, where is this so complicated? I mean, coffee, there's fancy coffee shops in, you know, different places. Everywhere. It's not just California. Go to Seattle. Lots of coffee there. Go to New York. Lots of cafes that don't do just machines. I mean, I guess if you want to, I don't know. I'm just saying. I don't think you have a horse in this race, brother. We got 50 million. No, Dunkin' is still machine coffee, I think. What kind of coffee machine? Like the vending kind? Vending kind? What's the vending kind? Oh, you mean the ones that drop the... Co Yo, those are cool, though. But those, those use powder, I think. I'm 99% sure those kinds use powder. Australia and Italy and Japan fuming right now because Mick thinks California is the center of fancy co We're not even. I feel like... Compared to... At least compared to... Um, when I was walking around Seattle... I feel like downtown LA has a lot less coffee shops. Or at least specialty coffee and coffee roasters and stuff. Yeah, we are definitely not the biggest coffee snobs. I think we're getting there. I mean, I, I've been seeing a lot more cafes recently. And a lot more roasteries. Roasteries? But... 
It's not, it's not the same. It's not like other places, for sure. Like you pay money, it comes out of a little tube? Oh wait, are you- so wait, yeah, so- Oh, so are you- like the ones that are made from powder kind of thing? All that, or... I don't know, I don't know which one you're exactly talking about. California is safely the bo safely the boba place, but I doubt you would consider it the coffee place. I don't think California is considered the boba. Uh, I mean the uh, sorry the coffee place at all. I'm sure coffee most people would think of maybe Seattle, probably. I've not walked downtown in a while. I just walked downtown a few days ago because I met up with friends to go to um, Blue Bottle in downtown. Because they had some, they have, again, my friends are coffee snobs. Um, they had some, I don't know who this guy is, but there, there was some guy there that was pulling espresso shots. Um, and apparently he won the world coffee championship like in 2010 or something. Like a long time ago. He won like some kind of, wor he won like the world coffee championship and then he also won the US coffee championship or something like that. Yeah, there's a championship for coffee making. It's weird. I don't pay attention to that, but uh, yeah. And so the guy was there, and he was making espresso. And I try. I didn't. I didn't order an espresso myself because again, I'm not an espresso fan. But I tried the espresso that my friends ordered, and it was pretty. It was okay. It was. It was better than some other espressos I've had. Still not something I'd order willingly, I think, but it wasn't bad, I guess. It wasn't bad. I'll give him that much. It was actually palatable. But I don't know where I went with the story. I forgot what I was saying. Oh, because we were walking downtown. Yeah, so we walked around downtown for a while and oh my god. My fr I don't know. I should have... I should have worn better shoes because I was not expecting to walk around downtown. So here I am, wearing my flats, and my friend is like, Oh, why don't we cross the 6th street bridge? And I'm like, bro, that's so far away. So... Because we were walking everywhere. We walked... to We walked from Blue Bottle to the wrong direction to go to eat, to go get lunch, and then finally we walked an extra 13 minutes to the restaurant to go get lunch. And then after the, that, he was like, why don't we cross the 6th Street Bridge? And I was like, that's a far walk, my friend. But I couldn't say no, because I didn't want to be the only one to say no. And when everybody else is willing to go, so I was like, okay. <laughs> and here I am, dying in my flats, walking all around downtown. God damn. Espresso can have a distinct taste, but it'll be the pure... It'll be like the purest taste of the beans. That's what I've heard, but I... Still not a fan. And I'm sorry, I still can't pick out most of the notes in coffee. You are within three blocks of me physically because I was at City Hall. No, it wasn't when you were working, if that's what you're talking about, Mango. It was on the weekend when, when that guy was there pulling fancy espresso shots. Eating pistachios right now and they're pretty good. Oh, I haven't had pistachios in a while. Pistachios are pretty good. I, I, I always forget how much I like pistachios. Aren't they expensive though? I feel like pistachios are expensive. What do I call the sticker? Boba flower. I don't know. I feel like that's too simple. Boba bloom. Yeah, I I I, I don't I try not to go too far. Like, I wouldn't go to downtown, for example, if I- if I have work. I will still run errands, though, if I'm working. If work from home isn't too busy, but I wouldn't drive, like... I wouldn't drive to somewhere where I, I can't find a quiet spot in case... I have to take care of some work matters, you know? They're just nuts- Oh, are your pistachios cheap? I always thought pistachios were expensive. I don't- I don't know what kind of nuts I'm thinking of that are expensive, then. Oh, we have orders. Okay. Alright, so now we have used up all our slots. Perfect. Oh, and we have money to print more stickers. Okay. 
Well, we still have some stickers left, so let's print these out. I guess most people don't leave messages when they place an order, which makes sense. So I guess I won't just do plain paper and filling whenever I'm putting an order. If they don't leave a note. Okay. I feel like it's too much green. So I think we do have to do the brown filling. I get lost so I don't go unless I have to go somewhere. Yo, don't worry, I'm bad at directions too. I can I can get lost easily as well. Get the clutch one block Uber, dude. In downtown, that'll be so expensive for one block. <laughs> I know. Um, I had a friend that was trying to go from where was it? State, I think around Staples. Oh, it's not called Staples Center anymore. And then they're trying to go to Little Tokyo, and they that was gonna uh, for some reason that was gonna be so expensive from there. Welcome back, Cat. How are you? This past Tuesday was Patch Tuesday? Patch for what? That's a lot of space for just some stickers. Surely an envelope would do the job. Honestly, yeah. I know when I... If somebody were to order, just order stickers from my shop... Um, you're just getting an envelope, my friend. I'll put like cardboard in there so that it doesn't get bent, but... That's it. Sorry. You're not getting- you're not getting a whole box with paper and filling. That's such a waste, I feel like. Ah, for windows! I see, I see. I didn't know that. Second Tuesday each month is Patch Tuesday for windows. Interesting. I have not noticed. It just updates when it updates. That's- that's- that's all I know. Gotta cost more than the stick. Honestly, yeah. This stuff ain't cheap, bro. This stuff is not cheap. Oh, we packed all our orders for today. Alright, I guess we mail it out. Pistachio shells are good for the fireplace when you're done as well. Mmm. That's cool. I wish I had a fireplace. I, I wish I had a fireplace, but then I think about it and I feel like I'll almost never run the fireplace ever. And then you have to maintain... I don't know if people actually do, but you have to maintain the chimney somehow. Ugh, sounds like a pain in the butt. Yeah, a fireplace in... I know, it's not even that useful to <laughs> have a fireplace in California. But, um... A lot of places have fireplaces, you know? <gasps> oh, there's flower paper! Wait, I guess we'll buy that. That costs so much money. 225 That's almost all my money. But I had to get it. Because it was flower paper. Okay, well, we're kind of broke now. We can't even buy another slot for the store. I guess we'll just print more stickers. I wish it told me how many stickers I have left. Gas fire or actual fire? Mm, actual fire. I think those seem cool. But I don't know. Don't know. Again, I've never owned a fireplace, so... Is gas fireplace easier to maintain? The train runs directly from the arena to... No, I don't think it was... Actually, no, I don't think it was Staples Center. It was, um... I don't know. There was, like, some kind of... Square Enix event that I attended... And I can't quite remember where it was. But it was not... It was not... Um, it was not at Staples Center, that's for sure. It was like a t small little area. For some kind of E3 thing. RIP E3. Gets cold at night here and bonfires socially are a big part of northern culture. Invite strangers, friends, family, have some alcohol and tell stories. See, I don't... Yeah, we wouldn't do that here. Because again, I feel like fireplaces are cool, but people don't use them very much, I think. <laughs> Just because it doesn't get terribly cold here. Mm, do I want to print? Yeah, you know what? Let's print more. Why not? FF24? 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 
When my dad and maternal grandfather added some 500- Damn! Added 500 plus square feet onto the house we lived in. Dad put in a fireplace. We would regularly get firewood. That's cool. See, if you have a use for it, then it's good. But for me, I don't have a use for it. But again, I mean, if I were to move to a house that included a fireplace, cool. I don't think I would add a fireplace because I think it's too much money and maintenance and whatever that, that it's just not worth it. Just put a fake fireplace in, I guess, if you just want the aesthetic for it here in California. But if it's where it would be useful, like where the weather would actually ne ne necessitate a fireplace, then makes sense. Makes sense. He had a brush he'd stick up the flue every now and again to check clean the accumulated creosote and chimney. Exactly! See, I don't know if I would even maintain it that way. But I want, is it like if you don't use your fireplace very often, do you even have to clean it like, and maintain it? I imagine you still do to some extent. But I'm not sure. Birds go in. Oh, so you do still have to maintain it somehow. So it sounds like having a fireplace is more of a headache. I feel like having a fireplace is more of a headache. But I like the look of it. I don't know. It's cute. And just the idea, the idea of sitting around the fireplace on, you know, a chilly December night sounds nice. Having hot cocoa and stuff, mm. Gas fires aren't real fires from a northern perspective. Oh my god, <laughs> what the heck. You'll be teased in a lighthearted manner by your friends if you use a fire that's not by logs. See, I don't... Our gas, well, what about, so you're saying like an electric fireplace is even worse than Mick, huh? I've seen a lot of homes that are starting to have electric fireplaces. I think, I like the, I think the, the logs. I like the, I like the idea of log fireplace. But from my understanding, electric fireplace is probably safer. This bears noting we... We're and I am still in the greater Sacramento. Well, I'm Sacramento is a lot colder than here in uh, SoCal. It's a it's 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 definitely a lot warmer here. But I'm and I'm surprised by the amount. I mean, it's been pretty cold this winter, but I'm, I'm surprised by the amount of houses that um have fireplaces here. Christmas gifts exchange with a fire. Mm -hmm, sounds nice. And then if you don't like the gift, you just chuck it in the fire. <laughs> Love sitting in front of a bunch of wood and having a log pop and smack. I mean, see, I have not experienced that. So I have no negative... I have no negative thoughts to fireplace. To me, it all seems nice and cozy. I don't know. You haven't ten fires from the time you're a baby here, basically. It's easy by that point. No headache at all. But from my understanding, electric fireplaces are starting to get popular. Because not only are they... Um... I guess... I don't know. I personally don't like the look of an electric fireplace unless like if you had no choice but to have an electric fireplace then fine but if um if you chose to rip out like your existing fireplace to put in an electric fireplace i think that's kind of lame but i think most people are starting to opt for electric fireplaces because they are safer technically just like how electric stove is safer than a gas stove but I like my gas stove, I don't know. I just like burning, it's hard to do in California. It is hard to burn a bunch of shit in California. Had a lot of experience with fire pits at camp, not much with in house fireplaces. Love my gas stove, but I kill. Why, why do you want induction? Just because it's it heats up faster and stuff? Does it cook more evenly too or no? I ooh, this has bees on it. How cute! Oh, I'm so happy we spent almost all our money on this on this paper. Totally worth. Last week I walked in the house and someone left the gas on. See, that's the problem with gas, is because it's dangerous. It's dangerous, but. It's so much cheaper than electricity. See, if I... If I had solar panels, then I guess I would opt for electric appliances and stuff. But I don't, and there's gas hookups, so I'm sorry. 
gas gas appliances it is because it's also cheaper to use them what will those people do when the power goes out then they can't cook by wood fire they'll just starve mm. I guess I guess I think most people that have all electric apply I don't know if this is true but I feel like a good amount of people that have all electric appliances they have some kind of backup either backup or they also have solar panels and a battery system it's not going to supply you forever but it should ideally um, supply you enough to enough power to survive a few days I think don't know again I've never used an electric stove so I have no clue I don't think a fireplace is going to make the difference in whether someone starves or not. I don't know. I don't think... Oh, shoot. We didn't... We have. We didn't make the boba stickers. Hold on. Mm, hold on. How are we going to do this? I'm going to be running out of... We have to make more of the- we have to make the boba stickers and then I don't know. We had solar before we moved, electric dryers, electric heat, electric stoves or anything. Which used 240. Won't be covered by solar because the- Oh, really? Oh, wow. I didn't know that, cat. Interesting. Because hmm. I was saying, you know, I if I were to get solar panels, which very expensive. Um... I would want to have electric appliances, but if they can't even utilize the solar energy, then that kind of sucks. I wonder what we should print on here. I have to worry about starving because the power went out. That's a lot bigger problems than trying to cook. True, there are non-perishable stuff you can you can um you can use. Crazy that you guys don't trust yourselves with a gas stove. I don't... I'm, that's not what I'm saying at all. That people don't trust with it, themselves with a gas stove. It's just... Proven that gas is not as safe as electric... Appliances. I mean, I have a gas stove. But... At the end of the day, you can't refute the evidence that... Gas leaks are a problem. Are a bigger problem than... Electric... Appliances, you know? The main drop has a 200 amp breaker on both hots. I have no clue what that means, but okay. So that just means it can't use the 240 volts. I think. Danger is fun, okay. You live your life, buddy. I'll live my life. I will say though that some some stuff that's regulated in California kind of sucks. Like, um, I wanted a specific because I was looking up how to um, for painting like the kitchen cabinets. I wanted a specific primer, but that primer um, because of the what do they call it VOCs? I forgot what those stand for. Because of the VOCs, it's banned in California, so they had to make a low VLC version. That's not, that's like so much more expensive. It's ridiculous. And I mean, I ended up, I ended up buying it. But man, that kind of sucked that I couldn't get the cheaper one because California banned it. Everything is banned in California. I don't get when people freak out. Like you see on reviews for like on different websites like Amazon, whatever, you see on reviews, people are like, um, excuse me, why does this label say that it might cause cancer and reproductive harm? Like, girl, everything, almost everything, if you're in California, everything's gonna be labeled with that, like, how, how are you freaking out as if this is your first time seeing that label? I'm sorry, but calm down, god damn. Ridiculous. Not regulate D's in California. Everything, honestly, yeah, everything can give you cancer. Most things.
California compliant kitchen knives? I have no clue what you mean, Mick. Is California carcinogenic? I mean, I get that they just want to warn you about it, but... But it's kind of... It's kind of... I think it, it... I don't know. I feel like sometimes it does more harm than good. Or... It, not, not, not only that, but I think because it's on almost everything now, I feel like the stuff that may actually be harmful, people just kind of don't pay attention to it because they see that label and everything, you know? So to them, if they see it on something else, it's like, eh, whatever. Not a big deal. So I think it might be doing more harm than good. Cancer thing is supposed to mark actually dangerous things, but manufacturers put it on everything because they're lazy. Exactly! That's the problem. Wait, it's on Christmas decorations too? I haven't noticed. I can't fit more! I think this is a good amount, no? I think this is good enough. We'll print one. Hannah Sky. Hello! Just bought some stickers and I'm so excited to get them. I hope they are not too big. I have to hide them from my sister Alex. She just snatches everything I buy for myself and tries to copy me. Oh my gosh. Can I give them extra stickers? Is that allowed? Because what if Alex steals some stickers from her? I'm, I'm okay giving her an extra sticker. That way she has some extra so that in case Alex steals stuff. You know what, I'll give her some extra. I'll give her one extra. One extra of each, because I'm nice like that. I don't know if we'll get in trouble, we'll see. Cancer, harmful thing kind of makes- reminds you of the Stanley Cup thing? What's the Stanley Cup thing? I think we have too many frog stickers. People don't seem to like those anymore. I feel like, again, there's no point in actually rearranging this. But I'll do it anyway. Stanley cups have a little lead sealed inside the vacuum. Oh, really? Interesting. So where people... When Stanley cups started to become popular again, were people freaking out? Some woman in Roseville, which is in the neighboring county, got busted for stealing about a thousand. Oh my god. I don't get why Stanley Cups are popular. I just, I don't know. I just don't see the appeal of owning something, uh, you know, a drink holder that doesn't seal. I don't, I, and I also don't like straws, um, like reusable straws. I'm not a fan of reusable straws. A lady randomly decided to trace her cup for tra traces of, or test her cup for traces of lead. Interesting. They just seem super convenient. I don't know. I prefer something where it's, if it's, you know, if it's a portable drink holder, it's going to stay sealed and I don't have to worry about it possibly spilling. And then I all, again, I don't like reusable straws. I hate cleaning reusable straws. Stanley Cup is the name of the winning trophy in hockey. That's what I thought at first. That's what I thought at first. I thought I thought you're talking about the hockey thing and not and not the cup. Six in my kitchen because my si wow, that's a lot. Why? 
Stanley is a construction apparel brand. They make cups. Interesting. I didn't know that that was the history behind it. Okay. I don't like mine because I don't have to get up a million times for water because the thing holds 40 ounces. I guess, but I mean, there are like... Aren't there like 32 ounce bottles out there? Like, 8 ounces... I feel like won't make that big of a difference. And at least it's resealable. I've packed all my orders. I guess we might as well mail them out since we have nothing else to do today. Can't even make more stickers because we can't we can't buy more slots. Drink out the gallon because lazy ooh. But what about what about germs? Ain't that bad? Also don't have to open the sealed ones up. But there are some that seal that are just you just slide the stuff. You just slide the little slider and then it opens. It's not that hard. And if it's gonna sit on your desk, then you could just open it and just leave it there. Open. And then if you're gonna go and you need to be, have it be portable, then you could go ahead and seal it. Literally have it to carry water around the house. I don't know. For me, I don't think it's useful, but I mean, at least you have a use for it. Posted to pick up my fireplace in the discard. Okay, I'll check it out later, Mick. Six pack gallon of water for five dollars. Wow, six gallons of water for five bucks. Interesting. I can't tell if that's a good price or not, because I do not... Uh... I don't buy bottled water. I was a hater until I actually bought one. Uh oh, is that gonna be me, Mango? If I if I end up getting a Stanley Cup? Because currently, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not a hater. I just don't understand. But I'm not gonna buy one just for the sake of maybe understanding, you know? Have to get ready for bed. Okay, no worries, Cat. Thank you for hanging out. Have a great rest of your stream. Thank you, thank you. Sleep well, sleep well. I'm oh, and good luck with the... Good luck with Ofkai. Good luck with Ofkai. I have I have, a hi I have several Hydro Flasks. I don't get them either. I don't get why they are so popular to begin with. I mean, they're not bad, though. I don't really use them, though, because I just... If I need water, then I just have a cup of water at my desk. I'm fine with that. Some places sell- wait, sell water bottles for $10? What kind of place is this? You don't need one? You have a mug warmer and work primarily? Not only do I have- I haven't used it in a while. I have a- I have an ember mug. So, it's not just a mug warmer, it's the mug itself that stays hot. <laughs> and heats my- heats my drink to some certain temperature. But yeah, I haven't used it in a while. It's on my desk. Use water filter? Yeah, I use water filter. I have, a, I have a dedicated faucet for the water filter, and then I also have the fridge that has a water filter in it. I guess we just sleep. There's nothing to do. No more orders. I guess we could print more stickers, but... Might as well wait to see what the other orders are before we print more stuff. I don't know what the stars mean. Maybe we'll find out at some point. You change them? Uh, it hasn't been time to change it yet, but yet. Yet, but I will change it when it's time to change. Don't worry. Wish I could sleep whenever I'm bored like this protagonist. Try! I, just, I mean, maybe they didn't sleep. Maybe they just lay in bed. I don't know. That'd be, that'd be nice if you could fall asleep easily. Sometimes it takes me a while to fall asleep. You leveled up your stickers. Wait, does that mean they're worth more? No, they're worth the same price. I don't know what that means. I still don't know what this means. I thought this meant that we could recolor the stickers, but it doesn't seem like we can recolor it, so... 
I don't know what this means. And what these unlock. It says I have the salmon color and the mustard yellow color. And... The smoke... Oh no, I don't have smoke. I can still buy that. And black and white. But I don't know what those are. I don't get it. Administrative stuff dem demands I be focused for- Oh, well yeah, I meant like more like for a night time. If you've got to sleep for a night time. Or whenever your bedtime is. If you have trouble falling asleep, that sucks. Obviously, if you have work stuff to take care of, then you can't sleep. <laughs> unless- unless work isn't too busy, because I- I nap sometimes during work, I'll tell you that. Slept three hours today and I laid in bed for nine hours. Were you trying to sleep for those nine hours cycle or no? Because man, laying in bed for nine hours, that's impressive. <laughs> I can't, I don't know. I like to lay in bed, but I don't know. That's a bit much for me. Water bottle is like having cold water whenever you want. Hmm. I mean, I guess that's how why a hydro flask or, you know, maybe a Stanley cup would be useful? I don't know. Is Stanley... Does a Stanley cup have good insulation? Because I know hydro flask has really good insulation. Try to sleep was just too hot for you? Oh, damn, that sucks. I'm sorry. That does suck, though. When you can't sleep because it's hot. But for nine hours, bro? I think I would have gotten up after two hours. And even two hours is a long time to just lay in bed. But I think I would have gotten up after two hours. <laughs> Stanley cups work for hot things too, don't they? That's why everyone and their mother... I don't know. I've never owned one. No clue. I am not transitioning to a Stanley cup last gen. I mean, if you're gonna buy me a Stanley Cup, then fine. But I'm not gonna spend my own money on a Stanley Cup. No thank you. I have enough cups as it is. And I don't need one. I don't take water when I go out. And I work from home, so I don't need one for, like, work or whatever, you know? I at work right now, so I didn't want to be tired. Mm, that's fair, that's fair. Dude, you were just kind of resting in bed. That makes sense. It's not on my throne, Jen, because I don't technically want one in that in that manner. <laughs> I don't want people to think I legit want a Stanley Cup. But again, if it was a gift, I wouldn't say no. It would be really neat to force a viewer to win an NHL championship just to get you a cup. Hey! You gotta prove, you gotta prove your loyalty, man. You gotta win, you gotta practice hard. <gasps> the fondue cup looks cute, I want it. I don't know how often I would use it, but it's cute. Take a gallon of water. See, if you drink the whole gallon of water cycle, it makes sense. I don't drink. A whole gallon of water. <laughs> so... I wouldn't. I think those cups where, um... Those cups where it says, like... Where it's like a big water bottle and then they have, like, times on it. I think those are cute. I don't think I would want one, because I... But I think, I think the idea is cute. To get you to drink enough water. Halfway done with one right now, damn. Well, hey, at least you're staying hydrated. Cute wish. Uh, is it really full of girly stuff? I feel like it's not even. It's full of plant stuff now, I think. I don't remember what's on my third one anymore. Man, there's nothing I could do in this game because I can't even get another slot to make more. 
to make more stickers. I think I just go back to sleep. That's all I could do. Unless I want to get rid of some of my stickers, but I can't. I don't really want to. How do I change this little guy up here? I don't. I want to change the little guy, but I don't know how. Hmm. Maybe there's no way to do it. Weird. Guilty of not drinking enough water either. It has to be super cold for it to be appealing to me. Mm, interesting. I like my room temperature water. I don't like it to be too cold. Like if I were to get water like at a restaurant, I'll always ask for easy ice because I don't like it too cold. I'm the opposite. And I tend to I tend to drink a lot of water when I'm eating. A lot of plushies and makeup accessories and some plant stuff. Makeup accessories. I don't think I have makeup accessories on there. Or at least I don't remember putting that on there. Are you drunk? I don't know. Are you? And I swear there's only one plushie on there. Should be Torgal, I think. They mailed out our stuff and I guess we just go back to sleep. Cap out at half a liter of water per day. I do not keep track of my water intake, so I actually don't know. I actually don't know what... But I think I drink enough most days. Most days. Some days I definitely don't drink enough, but I think most days I drink enough water. I am getting allergies. This is bad. Holy shit, I got nine orders. That's insane. Okay. Uh, I guess we ought to print more stickers. Oh, and we haven't we, we have enough money to make more slots, but let's print and pack our stickers first before we make more. Because what if we don't have enough money to print and pack everything? <gasps> Thank you for the hydrate cycle. I don't know if it threw the bottle at me. I don't know if it's working. I feel like the redeems are kind of broken right now. Hair accessories was a more accurate term. Oh yeah, I think I still have the that flower hair clip thing on there. I think that might be the only hair accessory, I think. One standard plastic water bottle. Dylan, that is not enough water per day. What the heck? It's oh you did it did it did. Okay, cool. Thank you for the sub. Oh, we're out of Ricky stickers. I'll just arrange this however. Good enough. My friend Patrick showed me your shop. Right now everything is just so exhausting. That's why Patrick bought stickers to cheer me up. Stickers are a nice distraction, but I need to finish three projects next week. Oh, I wonder if... Oh, was pa did Patrick order the stickers last time? That's nice that he actually came back to my shop and ordered more. What do they do with these stickers, though? I'm curious. But that's cute. I really like these messages. They make me feel like... Even as just a sticker shop, I feel like I'm changing people's lives, you know? It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. Vandalize this. No, they're gonna put the stickers on like the light poles and stuff. Wish this was cute and I enjoyed the perusal. Aw, thank you, thank you. I should probably add more. I don't know. I keep forgetting to add more stuff to it, but I think what's on there is mainly stuff that I really do want. So I don't want to just add things for the sake of adding things, you know? The people ordering stickers all sound depressed. Honestly, yeah. But I feel like... I may be helping them when they order stickers. I don't know. It makes me feel a little better. Okay, did somebody did not... Man, everybody ordered a Ricky sticker. Okay, here you go. This one ordered just the boba. I can't believe I am using a box to send all these. I really feel like an envelope would have been good enough. 
Rather use the stick. Use the stick than to st steal water bottle and laptop if that's any clue. Steal water bottle. Oh, like a hydro flask? I guess a hydro flask is steel, no? Must be losing more money than you're making with all these boxes. I feel like I should be, but for some reason, these are free, so. I mean, I had to buy the special paper, but once I buy the paper once, it's unlimited, so that's good. Okay, we have to print more Ricky stickers. And a few more Boba ones. Oh, what happened? How come this got... What happened here? I don't know why that suddenly overlapped. Weird. Okay, I'm glad we could edit the sticker sheet. We just can't edit the stickers themselves. But at least we can edit the sheet so that we can print more Ricky. Or, actually, hold on. Let's get rid of these. Let's print a few more Boba Cups this way. Mm. Yeah, I don't know why this randomly decided it didn't want to fit anymore. It's so weird. It's okay. We can do it this way. We don't need that many more Boba Cups, but we need more Ricky stickers. Maybe that's enough, we'll see. Hey, I just saw some awesome stickers on my sister ha Hannah's cell phone, uh-oh. And absolutely needed them for myself. I sneaked into her room and found your, your shop name. Okay, well at least... Alex is buying the stickers and not stealing them from Hannah. I guess it's a good thing I gave Hannah some extra stickers, man. At least Alex, oops, came back and actually bought stickers. So good job, Alex. I'm proud of you. Not stealing from your sister. But you don't get anything extra, I'm sorry. I guess here, I'll give you an extra frog. I'll give Alex an extra frog. Hey again, Chiel. I am absolutely in love with the Hula Frog sticker. Remember my stationery collection back in the day? Well, it was only grown since we graduated, and your stickers are perfect for it. I wonder what they use the Hula Frog for. I don't know how that would fit for stationery, but alright. I won't question it. I actually really like the Ricky sticker. It's actually really cute. Send. Invitation to a tiki party. Would you go to the tiki party if you saw the hula frog sticker on there? I think it would be an amazing party if they, if they utilized my stickers for it. We are running out of Ricky stickers again. Absolutely insane. Ah! Trying to get the hula frog. There we go. They wanted one coffee time and one tea time. Nice. You know what? It looks pretty close to each other. I feel like maybe the angle is ever so slightly off, but... The, the plants, the leaf and the flower are really close. Wait, did I forget the fill? I don't know if I put the filler in there. can't remember. Oh well. I already sent it. I think I probably put it in because I... Pretty sure I always click both. Person wants two Ricky stickers.
Oh my gosh, we need to print even more Ricky stickers again. That's crazy. And one Bulba. Ricky carrying? Seriously! We printed a good amount and people are still buying a lot. And it's the most expensive sticker, so you know what? I am not opposed to this. Okay, that's all packed. Do we have time to go to the post office? Yeah, we don't. Alright, fine. Mm, I think we should make enough money to recoup the cost of buying more to the slot. More, more... More shop slots. Wow, I cannot talk today. Okay, so we have five more slots. I wonder if we have time to make another sticker. We don't. Okay, so I guess we're just sleep. I'm glad that the time... The way that the time goes by is just... By you doing things and not... Not just idling, you know? I thought that's how it was gonna go by, and then um, that would cause me to waste so many days. Okay, might as well pack all these orders instead of going to the post office twice. Pack all these. And then we can go, go to the post office just one time. Is it this easy to make stickers? Like, you just find assets online and then just combine them and then- Well, I mean, I guess people probably won't buy it if it looks like you just combined clip art. But, I wonder. I wonder. Love the shop? Aw, thank you, Aubrey. And you bought so many stickers, wow, okay. I don't think there's a huge market for stickers, but maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. I've heard... I've seen people, like, make a lot of stickers and sell them on Etsy or something. But I don't know. I don't think you can... Unless you're, like, on a, like, really crazy artist and it's really unique. I don't think you can make a living off of selling stickers, but I can see how it could be somebody's side gig, perhaps. If the stickers you make are, you know, unique enough. Okay, we need more boba. Wow, everybody likes the boba now. What the heck? Okay. Okay, let's get rid of the frogs. Or at least... We'll make less frogs. Or you know what? No, let's get rid of the frogs. People buy a lot of the boba ones, so... But let's put more Ricky in here, because... People also buy a lot of Ricky stickers. Why can't we save? Oh. Why are you not fitting? There we go. And print. Perfect. Oh, that only printed out four Ricky stickers. Hmm. That's the water. Did she sell your stickers there? I don't know what shop they're using to sell the stickers, man. It seems to be doing well. I should sell my stickers there, because, yeah. I still have a lot of my stickers. Especially the... The Peeker sticker. I still have so many of those. And my keychains. Buy my keychains, too. It takes up space. I don't- I don't want to get new merch until I get rid of the stock that I have already. <laughs> I mean, if it's like Streamlabs merch, not a problem, because that doesn't actually get stored here. But for merch that I have to order in bulk and have to store... Um... Yeah, I don't want to order more until... 
you know, ad- or you know, commit order more kinds until um, we get rid of that. I'm just surprised by the people that order multiples of the same sticker. What do y'all do with it, man? Hard Mona selling ice cubes in the North Pole. Mm -hmm. But hey, if you can, <laughs> if you can manage to make a business out of that, I feel like you can make a business out of anything. All right, we packed everything for today. Perfect. Mm, okay, I might as well mail these out. If the stickers are pretty, I buy multiple one to use and another to keep. Mm, okay, that makes sense. I don't buy stickers, so to me... Wow, we don't have enough time? How much time does it take to make a sticker? What the hell? Okay. I guess we just go back to sleep then. I don't know. I have 69 credits, look. Oh, you can't see that I have 69 because I'm blocking it. Hoping to show you, never mind. But I have 69 credits, nice. <laughs> I bought the desk mats and they still in the box they came in. Oh my gosh, Psycho. I mean, thank you for buying my merch, but... When, when am I gonna see the light of day, bro? 15 cent stickers, that's crazy. Ooh, we have a lot of hearts. 165 hearts. I guess we might as well buy more of the plant stuff. Since we have so many hearts. Yeah, merch out. Yeah, yeah, I have merch. Some of them are um, on the Streamlabs site, so I don't have those in stock myself. I mean, they're in stock on Streamlabs. Like, I think it's like print on demand type of thing. Um, but there are some other merch that I actually have on me that I have to physically mail to you. And I'm so sorry, Smalton. I still have to mail Smalton stuff. Um, I just haven't because I haven't set up my sticker machine yet. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so there's some merch that I actually have to mail out to you. And that is what is taking up space in my garage. So if you would like to order it, please do. Nine out of 47. Oh, is that how much? There's 47 kinds here. Mm, what else? I want all of it to be plants. Okay. Ooh, there's there's words. Okay, let's see. Time to buy more stickers and wait on that instead of the forest. I mean, yeah, if you want to. If you want to. Please do get rid. Help me, help me use up some of my. I mean, help me get rid of some of the space that these, this merch is taking up. Hey Snowy, how you been? No rush. If I end up making a purchase, hold on to that first. I'll try to. I'll try not to hold on to it for too long, Mick. I'll try to be good, cause, oh my goodness. It's almost... It's been a very long time since Smalton ordered some merch and I still haven't sent it out. I'm so sorry. I'll try to be good. Wow, there's a lot of different stuff we can order. Ooh, a rainbow. Oh, I think I know what... That color thing is. I'm thinking this is for like the shapes. 
Because I know the shapes you can recolor. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I'm understanding now. I'm understanding. We'll buy the drop. <gasps> I wonder if we can make a teddy teddy. Ooh, mm, okay. Let's see. Let's make a teddy teddy. Um. It needs a ribbon. Do we have a ribbon here? Let me see. You think good? Nothing really happened. That's fine. I mean, same old, same old. Nothing wrong with that. I'm glad you've been doing good, though. How do I scroll down? There's an arrow here, but it doesn't do anything. Oh, I guess because there's no more down? No more down, only up. Okay. There are no ribbons. That's... Oh. Here we go. No! I can't make the teddy teddy! Damn. Okay, well. We'll make something else then. Okay, let's pack some more stuff. So we can make money. Then we'll make a teddy teddy, and then maybe we'll call it a night after that. I'm sorry, I don't think it matters if I actually arrange this properly. Fine, I'll arrange it nicely. Fine, fine, fine. I'll feel bad. Especially because he left me a message. You know how I told you that everything seems bad? Man, every all my customers really are depressed. God damn. Well, it got even worse. My boss fired my best work buddy. I'll need a lot of plant stickers before I can muster up the courage to quit. Do you plan to make more plant stickers? Aww! That sucks. I'm sorry. That really sucks. I mean, you don't have to tell me... As a shop owner, you don't have to tell me your life story, but... I mean... It kind of gives it a more personal feel, I guess. Stickers as therapy, apparently. But hey, again... If my stickers make them happy, I'm here for it. I'm glad. I'm sorry, but it, it also just sucks, though. <laughs> what did his best work friend do, though? To get fired, man. Okay. Pack all of these so that we can send them out and make some money. Then, after we make monies, we will make a teddy teddy. Well, I guess it's not the money that we're low on, it's the hearts, but I guess mailing stuff out helps you as well. Uh oh, we're running out of frogs now. Ooh, we're really running out of frogs. Okay, well, we'll pack yours later, my friend. Okay, let's print more frogs, I guess. And more of these. And you know what? Let's print more Ricky. Why not? Looking forward to purchasing all these guys' autobiographies after they're done telling you for free on Yelp reviews. <laughs> I wonder how many if they if they're telling me just a rando sticker shop their life story like how many other people do they tell their life story to you know all right we've packed everything and then we mail it out then it's gonna say we don't have time to make stickers so we just sleep. Makes you wonder what their home life is like. They... they have it rough. I can tell you that much. Man, I thought I had my allergy... wait. I do. I do have allergy meds here. Oh my god. I've been complaining that I'm suffering from allergies. 
Okay, let me take my out in a few minutes, hold on. Oh my god, seven. Seven orders. I need to make more stickers, dude. I want to make the Teddy Teddy, so sorry. That's gonna have to wait. Where are the faces over here? Let's, let's do the happy face. Is the background always black? I don't remember the background being black. Gonna make our tattoo tattoo. It shouldn't be too hard, I think. Can I make this sticker? We'll make it a relatively large sticker. So it commands more money. And then... Oh, so this is how you change the color. Okay, only this one you can't. Got it. Do those allergy pills make you drowsy? I absolutely despise that as a side effect. Um, I don't think these ones do. I know some do, for sure. Like Benadryl, for example. Oh my gosh, that makes you drowsy as heck. But I don't think these ones make me drowsy. I haven't noticed it. It's 24 hour. It's a 24 hour allergy pill. So if it makes me drowsy for 24 hours, that's gonna be insane. The bottle doesn't say non-drowsy on it, so I don't know actually. I haven't noticed myself getting drowsy, but I'm just, I just randomly get tired. So I don't think that's any help at all. <laughs> Zyrtec and Claritin don't make you drowsy. I just have generic Walgreens. Oh, it expires this month. I mean, I'm still gonna take it after this month, but I'm not gonna- Man, allergy- Allergy meds are expensive. I'm not throwing this away. I'm just saying that it's expiring this month. Okay, then we put a face. Mm, what else? I feel like... I don't know if I like this. Mm. We can buy a Right. Where are the colors? Oh, here we go. Damn, we can't buy silver. We don't have enough. We don't have enough for what I want to make. I think it's gonna be another day of just the same old stickers again. Cause I want... I mean, we have the stripe, but... I feel like it'd be better gray than black. I feel like black is a bit too harsh. Splora, thank you for the raid! So, dude, how's your stream? Oh my god, hold on. Type in your name. It was good. You didn't ooh, right? How was it? Were you winning? How far did you get? Did you actually win? Welcome, maters. Welcome, maters. My name is Chill Hydra Angel VTuber. Playing Sticky Business. We're making a Teddy Teddy sticker right now, but I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with this sticker. I don't know. Made it halfway through Titan? Wait, are you doing the sack um, strat or what strat are you doing? Or maybe, you know what? Maybe we won't even have the stripe. I don't know. 
doing it wrong? Wait, so how? Huh? So how do you mark people? So who's marking somebody? Someone had the melon, but they were dead. Damn. Okay. Well, that sucks. Oh, we only got to jails three times. Ah, okay, okay. I mean, hey, at least you're getting farther. That's good. Wait, how far did you get last time you were doing Ulu? I'm thinking of maybe I will... Maybe. Maybe I'll also participate. I don't know. Because I'm, I'm just not feeling Valo, man. Not feeling Valo lately. Got halfway through a free last time. Today was just a free prog and third pull we got to jails. Man, I need a refresh on Uwu. I don't remember anything. Sav! Thank you for being the singing the Teddy Teddy Blizzard the Army. How have you been? Let's do it. We want to prog more this weekend. Alright, I'll think about it. I'll think about it. I gotta think about it first, though. It's easy, I'm picking up- No, well, I don't even remember how to play FF at all. I don't even know if I know my... My opener or anything, dude. Thirty months? Yeah! Oh, wow, wait. Steph, you have the same anniversary as... Oh, wait, no. Booty was 36 months. God, Booty's insane. Who else was... I swear some somebody else was 30 months recently. We would prefer you to our pugs. Mm, I don't know, friend. We'll see. I still want to finish FF16 at some point, but I need to catch up on the... I need to rewatch the uh, cutscenes. I still haven't gotten around to doing that. I, I don't know, Psycho. I have so many on my backlog. So I don't think we're going to start a new game. I still... I really want to fish and finish FF16. But I thought we should just do a chill game for tonight. Mm, Ada, Ada, Sleepy, hold on. I don't remember my hotkeys for what you like. Hold on. Ada, Ada. Wait, are we, are we still, are we, are we in the sexy Ada, Ada mood right now? Or are we in the, the, the Ada, Ada kind of thing? I don't know. I'm still confused what you guys like more. I don't know anymore. You you actually made an oro 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 redeem. I don't know. Thank you for the head fat mango. Oh, you want me to make it? No, you make it for yourself, bro. No, what the hell? I thought you said you made it. I was like, I'm surprised you would make something like that. That does not seem like you at all. Can't even. What makes you think I could talk that fast? What the hell? Sleepy, do you like the sexy auto autos or because you? Oh, I'm. What do you mean? I yeah. That doesn't mean I talk fast. What the hell? I talk too much, but that doesn't mean I talk fast. Do you like the teddy teddy with a rainbow or no? So you like the sexy ones, not the arara, arara kind of thing, is what you're telling me. Because I've seen a lot of people do the arara, the other one, you know? You're gonna get emotes via showed me someone to calm who has pog tasty. Wait, how much is it? Let me show you the let me show you the other one. You didn't you know you didn't even wait for me to send you the other one, bro. 30 for one? Well I have one for 20 for one. They don't specifically have pog tasty, but They have other animated emotes and they can make customized ones. But it's up to you. Did you already order it? Are you gonna get 75? Are you gonna get three? Thank you for the head pat. $19.99? Okay, hold on. Let me see, let me see. Payout is this weekend. Oh, so that's why that's why you're gonna that's why you're waiting to order. Okay, okay, okay. Nineteen ninety nine. Let me see. 
1999. Have you ever dieted? If so, what diet did you try? God. I mean, other than, you know, cutting back on certain things, the only, of, the only diet that I've actually tried is, um... Keto. I've tried keto for a little bit. It wasn't terrible. I don't remember why I quit. I can't remember. I don't I don't even remember if I lost weight, dude. But I did do keto for a short while. Seafood diets, I seafood and I eat it. Mm-hmm. That's the other diet I've tried, but that's just that's a diet I'm currently doing. Cause Brett I love that is true. I, I keep saying, you know, maybe I'll do keto again because it wasn't too terrible, but I also really like bread, you know? Gonna head to bed, okay? No worries, Venus. Good night, good night. Sleep well, thank you for stopping by. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I could do keto again. I, I don't even remember if I lost weight. If I didn't lose weight when doing keto, then I would never do it again. No, I'm good. Was not worth, I mean... Bacon was yummy, but I guess bacon is not exactly healthy keto, you know? Trying to sub to you, but I'm having problems with my bank stuff, so I can't purchase it. My Your stuff is locked until tomorrow? I'm sorry, Snowy. But don't worry about it. But thank you for trying to sub. I appreciate it. But I'm, I'm sorry you're having problems. You only live one life. Why you spend it not eating carbs? Because... Apparently keto is a good way to lose weight. I know my um, I think it was I think it was keto that my aunt was on I think my aunt did keto. I can't fully remember. I know she cut. I know she cut carbs. I don't know if she was doing Low carb high fat, but I know she cut carbs Significantly and she lost a lot of weight So I don't know I mean, I guess I don't have to do keto specifically like, you know Snowy, thank you for re-enlisting in the Teddy Teddy Puzzle Army. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm, I'm so glad it worked. Thank you. I was worried that your bank was actually locked until tomorrow because that would be bad. But thank you, six months. Let's go. Thank you so much, Snowy. Started running and I gained weight. Well, you're, maybe you're gaining muscle. Because muscle's heavier than fat, you know? I don't know. I feel like weight is one indicator, but what you should really look at is... You know, your fat percentage, I suppose. Either with a caliper or... I don't know how accurate those scales are that supposedly have the fat percentage stuff, but... Um, I know those are a thing, too. Just bought it straight with my card and it worked. It was like with my PayPal. Hmm. Well, I hope your PayPal is okay. I don't know what I would do if my PayPal got locked. Oh my goodness. I love your new sticker, Boba Bloom. And you know what? I'm going to do it. I'll quit my job tomorrow. Oh my god, Robert is going to quit his job. See, the problem is I'm not remembering which customer is who. But... I, this, this is, he's gonna, is this the guy that who, whose best friend got fired? Wait, how do I see the previous messages? Oh, yeah, this is this is the guy who's boss fired their best work buddy. So because they fired their best work buddy, now they're gonna... ...quit their job? That's crazy. But I mean, I guess if you're miserable... I guess it makes sense. BMI doesn't account for muscle. BMI takes a bodybuilder and tells him... Yeah, yeah, I didn't say BMI. Um, I, I, I did not say BMI at all. But yeah, BMI is not a good indicator. BMI is like a good starting point, I would say, but it, if you have low fat, high muscle, then it's not a really good indicator on whether, um, where you are in terms of healthy weight. Are you sure you aren't a job counselor? I'm secretly, you know... Secretly giving the messages through my stickers. I need to go outside more. Yo, same. Same. Uh oh, we need more of this. Hold on, we'll wait for that then. 
pack these ones. Oops. I know I don't have to make it all nice and neat, but I want to. Nice and plump. Hey, nothing wrong with that. I think I count in the plump category now. <laughs> I need to, I need to work out again, dude. The shop is really lovely. Thank you, Genesis. Oh, so I guess there are generic comments like that, and then there are the people that actually have stories, like this Hannah person, because their her comment is in a different colored box. Storing fat for the winter. Yup, yup. In the in the middle of April, for sure. Getting started early. Been storing it for a long time now. Let's go run the LA River. I've never been. Is there is there like a path that's not stinky? Because when I used to work in Studio City, I think it was the LA River that passed through there, and I would walk. I would walk there during my lunch breaks, and man, it was stinky. I don't know, man. Eternal winter is coming, you know, gotta be prepared. Very true. I don't want eternal winter, though. I don't like the heat, but... And I, I, I don't mind the cold as much as I do the heat, but... I don't think my plants would like eternal winter. LA River has a path, but it's not stinky. It's not a stinky path. That's what I'm worried about. It's like I said, the path that I saw in Studio City was stinky. Halfway to the VIP. Oh, good luck. Good luck, Snowy. 10% chance, I believe. Okay, so we had to print what? More of the boba. And some Ricky. We've printed 250 stickers so far. That's crazy. Stinky as in... Yeah, it actually smelled bad. Like, it almost smelled like sewage kind of bad. Ew, yeah, that's LA for you. <laughs> yup. It rains, so it should not smell as bad. Mm, that's true. It's not as um, bad now. I think maybe it's not as bad now because we've been getting a lot of rain. Because when I was there, that was back in the drought times, you know. Hello, I found some of your stickers in my sister's room and first thought she took them, but it seems Alex and I have more in common than I thought. We both love your stickers. Oh, I see, I see. So she found Alex, um, Alex's stickers that they bought. Okay, okay. And they're buying more, thank you. So sweet. Mail it out, and we don't have enough. Oh wait. We have money, I wonder if we'll... Let's buy more of this stuff. Mm, so we have the flower paper. I don't think I want to change from the flower paper. Ooh, fruity paper seems nice, though. I don't know what I like to go with it. Maybe the white confetti crinkle paper? Is that nice? Or the confetti peanut filling. Let's go with the white... White or brown? Let's go with the white. This music? It's comfy music. I like the music. Why is she in the sister room though? I don't know why she's sneaking around in the sister's room.
GL stickers are the talk of the town now. Heck yeah. Tire Town is gonna be. St hey, my stickers are not that sticky. Wait a minute. Oh my god, we keep getting more orders. No. I want to make the Tedu Tedu. Let's buy silver. Or you know what? Let's buy. I guess that's fine. Let's buy a light blue border. A little blinding, but I think that's okay. And then with this one. I don't know if I like that. I don't think I like that. Mm, welcome back, young nobody. Chill sticky stickiness keeps communities together like glue, apparently. You know, why don't we what about this? No, that's ugly too. Mm. You know what? Hold on. I have an idea. Have an idea that might make it look better. Let's see. Teddy Teddy Sticky, I'm trying. Maybe we didn't even have to buy that thing. No, wrong button. Oops, no! How do I undo? Is there undo? Oh my god, there's no undo button. And, okay. I don't know if this idea will work. Let's see. This needs to be fixed though, hold on. Yeah, so I didn't even have to buy the lines. But I just done this. Okay, I think that looks actually pretty cute doesn't look terrible. I don't know if there's anything else we should add. We can't buy the rain cloud. We do have this raindrop. We don't have blue fill. And it kind of doesn't even look like a raindrop, I feel like. I think that's good enough. That's a good enough teddy teddy. Do we like the white board? I mean, the blue border or the white border? I mean, the black border. I feel like the black border just looks more Teddy Teddy ish. But the blue border makes it kind of look like it's for rain, which makes sense. Hmm, I guess we'll do blue. Hey, 
Teddy Teddy. Okay, we made a sticker. Now what else do we make? Don't have a lot of stuff. Let's put... Let's do one of those word stickers. Put a verb on there. And we gotta have plants somehow. Maybe yellow is better. Simple, but I think it's cute. Put the little cute little burb. Mm, anything else? I think that's good. Good eye for design. Oh, thank you, Jan. You're sweet. I don't really. <laughs> I'm so bad at. I'm just able to use. Whatever's pre-made here, but if you were to give me a black slate, I can't I don't think I could do it. And it's all lowercase, so we'll keep it like that. And oh, we can still make another sticker. Man, I'm out of ideas. I'm running out of ideas. Ah, why am I being bonked? Why? Sleepy, why? You're right, we didn't make a mushroom one yet. What do we do with the mushrooms? I'm trying to think. What should we do with the mushrooms, though? Because you can't. Mm, my poor head. I'm honestly not sure what to do with the mushrooms yet. I think we'll wait on the mushrooms because I have an idea right now. An idea that might take me too long. Let's see. Should stick to just a few colors here or do the whole thing. I don't know if it'll look like too many colors. Oh, we still have to add red. Oh my goodness. How are you? This game is called uh, Sticky Business. Wait, is that what it's called? Hold on. <laughs> yes, that's what it's called. I had to double check. Oh my goodness. It's basically a sticker making game. So I own a sticker shop. And right now I'm in the designing phase of my stickers. And then later when people buy stickers, I have to print them and then um, ship them and everything. 
It's a relatively comfy game. Very relaxing. I kind of wish there was a bit more variety in the music, I guess. It's not bad. It's not bad. I feel like I'm starting to get tired of this track. I don't know. How are you? How are you, Neko? Not sure if I'm liking this yet. Mm. I want to cover up most of this. like the white gaps there. I don't know if I like it. I wonder if we should have just stuck with a few colors for the flowers. Not bad. But I'm not sure. It reminded me of one of those one of the booths from an anime con I went to. I'm pretty sure most of the stickers came from Google. Wait, stickers that came from Google. I feel like that's not that's not legal to sell on your own then if you didn't make it yourself, no? I mean, I've definitely seen some, um... I've definitely seen some shops, though, that... At anime cons that just sell... Like, what look like screen caps from anime. Or, you know, they just edit... They just take a picture of a character from Google and then they just print it out. I've seen that. I'm 99% sure that ain't... That ain't allowed. Or they just sell AI. Mm, maybe. I don't know, I haven't been to... Uh, anime convention bef since before AI became bigger. But I imagine, yeah, some shops definitely. They probably have AI now. I don't know why I'm putting too much effort into this. Detective Conan fandom is on fire right now? How come? I know nothing about Detective Conan fandom, I'm afraid. Have there been any huge lawsuits over selling AI-generated stuff yet? I... am not sure. I think it's still like a really gray area right now. When Akira to Toriyama died, someone was selling AI-generated art on- SELLING AI-GENERATED ART ON TIKTOK? What the heck? And people actually bought it or what? I don't know if it's true, but I saw one where... Someone made an AI art, but instead of Akira Toriyama, it used Hayao Miyazaki in the picture. I don't know if that's like a real I don't know if that was a real one, but I, I saw I saw something like that. Cause the AI didn't I couldn't find enough um, references for Akira. I don't know what my dog is doing.
Okay, is this good enough? I think it's cute. I think this is cute. There's the other anime where they were making about a famous art thief by the same person, so people ship the two because detective and thief. Uh huh. It's been like 30 years of people shipping the two. 30 years of people shipping the two together. I am not familiar with this other thing that you're talking about. Recent movie, it's revealed that they're cousins? Interesting. Isn't that like... Technically allowed in Japan? Or something? Yeah, they absolutely had to have known what they were doing with that, considering... I'm sure they've known that people have been shipping them in the fandom, you know? I'm not saying I'm pro-cousins. I'm saying... That it's not... I've, I've seen that plot point. I've seen cousins being interested in each other in other anime. Japan has different copyright laws. Yeah, I'm sure they have different copyright laws. Yeah, so apparently they're cousins, Neko. But I am not familiar with Kaito Kid at all. But, I mean, they, they must have known what they were doing. There's no way they didn't know that people were shipping Conan and Kaito Kid. Or whatever, you know? The law is super slow, coupled with the ones who are running it. Old dudes that should be retiring. I expect AI legislation to come after it affects them. Probably, yeah. I don't think there's any like official legislation towards AI stuff yet, right? I'm j I don't keep up with it though, so I don't know. Myself, <gasps> yo, myself, yourself. I don't. I've seen that anime. I don't remember much about it, but I remember there's something. Were they cousins? I thought they were like siblings, <laughs> or am I thinking of something else? I was thinking more. Um. Kamichama Karin, I think, is the one where the girl liked her cousin. Or something like that. I know myself, yourself had some kind of taboo ish relationship, too, though. Can't fully remember. Be funny to press her on that and watch Chiel get embarrassed. On what? About what? I think this is good enough. SA oh yeah, SAO did the cousin thing too. But again, I don't know, Japan's different? I don't know. It's weird to me, but my values are different from Japanese values, I guess. SAO is siblings, but not oh, were they siblings? Wait, that's even weirder. <laughs> I thought they were cousins. I don't remember what they were. <gasps> Ariel, thank you for the um the 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 um, what is it called on YouTube? I forgot what it's called on YouTube again. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Hi, how are you? How's your stream? How's your stream? Welcome. I'm just gonna call you Raiders again, because I don't know what they're called. Welcome Raiders, welcome Raiders. My name is Xiao, I'm a hydrangea VTuber. We're currently playing Sticky Business, which is a sticker making game. We're just chilling, pretty much. Making stickers. <laughs> I just made this sticker. We're almost. I, I think I'm happy enough with how this sticker turned out. I'm putting a little bit too much effort into making the sticker, I think. But right now we're talking about some kind of um, drama fire thing that's going on in the Detective Conan fandom, apparently. Because. I guess people have been shipping Detective Conan and Kaito Kid. I, again, I'm not familiar with Kaito Kid. For the longest time, for 30 years, and then in a recent movie, it was revealed that they're cousins, and now people are kind of like, what the heck? So that's what we're talking about right now. But what, how was your stream, though? What were you doing? Live redirect! That's the word I'm looking for, exactly. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Um, 
I'm playing Sticky Business. I'm a hydrangea YouTuber. I don't know what else to say because I haven't been streaming. I haven't streamed in a long time. <laughs> so we're kind of just chilling right now, trying to catch up with everybody. Um, I mainly, I don't even have a main game anymore because I haven't even been into like Valorant or whatever, but I play a variety of games. I used to play a lot of Valorant. I'm probably going to get back into playing a lot more Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and then I also want to finish Final Fantasy XVI at some point. So that's, that's where my content lies at the moment, I guess. She was fun, played review copies of retro games that got released on Steam. Ooh! Arcade shoot 'em ups by Toa Plan, the company that made Zero Wing and the game that. Oh, all your base are belong to us. I see, I see. Interesting, interesting. What do you mean by a review copy of retro games? What is a review copy exactly? I don't even know what that means. If I recall correctly, they group as basically siblings, but technically cousins and very technically not. Wait, not blood related? Why? How are they not blood related? Yeah, I thought they were they were cousins, but then yeah, they kind of grew up as siblings because they grew up with each other, right? It's not like do they live in? I don't think they lived in separate households. I can't remember. At least right now they don't live in separate households. But I think I don't know why did why did Kita even start living with them? Huh? I don't remember. Conversation reminds me of that. And they were roommates, fine. I don't know what that is. <laughs> People ship weird stuff. People do ship weird stuff. I agree. What I miss, I just had someone randomly knock at my door. Um, I don't know. Where'd you leave off, Young? I could try to catch you up, but I don't know where you left off. What were we talking about? Ah, you were given free Steam keys. I see, I see. Well, I guess this game is kind of... I guess technically a review copy. I got a Steam key for this game. Well, that's cool that you got like a bunch of different games to try out. And I'm glad, I, I hope you enjoyed it, I think. It sounds like you did. I haven't played retro games in a long time. Okay, I think we're done with this sticker. We'll call it, what? Flower Ice Cream. It's too ba- it's such a basic name, but you know what? That's what we'll call it. Flower ice. Nah, we'll call it floral dessert. Here. We're, we're trying to be a little bit fancier, but still kind of nice and simple. <laughs> okay, now I don't think we can make any more. <gasps> can we? It's not gonna be mad at me. It's already nighttime. Oh, I guess we can make more. It's not mad at me. We still have two slots in our shop. So this is my sticker shop so far. These are what I'm selling. We have Hula Frog. We have Ricky. So everything in my shop is going to have plants to some degree, I think. Or flowers. Or plants, whatever. Uh, tea time and coffee time. Bobo Bloom, Teddy Teddy. How did the Relax sticker end up being so expensive? It, it was probably the fastest sticker that I made. That's crazy. 11. Okay. And then Floral Dessert, which is somehow the one that took me the longest and is yet the cheapest one. Okay. I mean, not the cheapest one, but it's not that expensive. Interesting. Hey, Conway. How are you? How are you? Lots of fun, I love games like that. Especially I had fun with Fix 8, which is a sequel to Outzone. Another game I got a free key for last year. Ooh, nice! I like that you're getting like continuation with the games that you got keys for. <laughs> I'm not familiar with either of those games though. What what exactly is Fix... I'm surprised Fix 8 is a sequel to Outzone because they do not sound like related games at all. Be honest, I don't remember. That's okay. You should watch. Oh my gosh, their roommates will become part of your vocab. Link it to me later. I'll watch it. When people knock, I don't answer. Those who know me would never knock and would probably just throw pebbles, throw pebbles at your door. What in the world? I usually don't answer when people knock either. 
what I need to get better at is because I have, you know, the doorbell with a camera on it. I need to get better at probably just answering them through the camera, if anything. But I feel like if they ring the doorbell, by the time I get on my phone and pull up the app to, um, to answer them, they're probably gone already. So I don't know if there's any point to doing that. Kirito and Suguha's moms were siblings, and Suguha's family adopted Kirito when his parents died. Oh, his parents died in a car accident? I didn't even remember that. Okay. So they were in fact blood related. So yeah, so they were blood related for his cousins. And yet, I so not only were they blood related for his cousins, they were practically raised as siblings after a certain point. And yet, and yet we got the plot point that we did. Relax overtook Ricky. I think it's because Relax is actually a really big sticker. That's my guess. Wait, so if I unlist it... <gasps> if I unlist it, it opens up another slot. Oh, so I that's how I can make a crap ton of stickers at a time. Okay. And I can just unlist stuff. Instead of deleting it. Mm. Cool. I'm learning stuff. Been making Endwalker relics and spreading managed... What do you mean by managed democracy? <laughs> what does that even mean? Do you answer calls from numbers you don't recognize? Oh, now I don't have enough time to make another sticker? Okay. Uh, no. Usually not. Because I do not. No, no, no. Unless I'm expecting a call... Um... Maybe I'll answer it, but chances are usually I won't. Because they can just leave a message and I'll call them back. But yeah, I do not um, answer phones, phone calls from people that I don't know the number of. Because I, I think most of them are like scammers. And then once they know that your number... I don't know if this is true. That is what I've heard. Is that once they know that your number is like a working number... Then they're just gonna keep calling you. You know? I used to do that, but realize my mailbox has been full for months. Oh my god. Let me see. I don't know. I don't think my voicemail is full. Let me see. I hope it's not. Let me check right now. Cause I I did apply for a job and I would be so that would be so bad if they called me and then I missed it, you know? One second, I need to check right now. I just screen calls with a voice to text voice mailbox that Apple finally got. I don't have a, I have an Android. I don't think I would switch to Apple. But my Android, at least T-Mobile, I think, used to have the, the text voice mailbox. But then they changed it to where you have to pay extra, I think, for the transcript. Okay, it doesn't say that my mailbox is full, so I'm gonna assume that my mailbox is not full. Android has had that feature for years now? I don't know. I don't know how to get it on my phone. I have Android. I have the T-Mobile um, visual voicemail, but it tells me to upgrade in order to get the transcript. And I'm not upgrading to premium. Hell no. That ain't worth it. Managed Democracy, referring to the game. Oh, I've never played Helldivers 2. I've never even watched a Helldivers 2 stream. So, I have no no idea what to, what that is. I mean, I have no idea. I, I had no idea about that. Vertical arcade shooter, except you play as a super soldier with a gun that can aim in different directions instead of a plane or a spaceship. Ooh, as a super soldier. Cool characters and enemies, great soundtrack, and it's just plain fun. We joke that... It was Hell Divers, not Hell Divers, 1992. This is not the reason I hate picking up my phone. Also. Exactly, I don't like answering, especially if they're like scam calls. Like, I'm sorry, I'm not even gonna say no, I'm not interested. I just hang up on them once I. When you could, you could tell if they're a scam. I just hang up immediately. I know some people will, you know, um actually tell them, oh no, I'm not interested. No, thank you. Like, uh, I, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna waste any more breath on you, sorry. <laughs> no, thank you. 
I know my mom. Sometimes when she gets like a spam call, like she'll she'll start yelling at the person. Like, girl, they're, number one, they're doing their job, even though they shouldn't have that job if they can help it. Um, number two, there's no point. Just why are you getting angry? You just just no point getting angry over this kind of stuff. Just hang up and go about your day. I feel like it's not worth the energy. Sometimes it's fun to reel them in for a while if you're not busy. Really? I don't know. I feel like that. I don't want to waste my time like that, man. Thank you for the hydrate, doctor. How are you? How are you? Sleepy gonna go to bed? Okay, good night, Mick. Sleep well, sleep well. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. What time is it? Should I go to bed? Oh, wow. It's a lot later than I thought. Hold on, let me just double check something real quick. Because I wanted to get something that this person said I have to pick up in the morning. Oh, they said afternoon now. Okay, cool. I don't have to wake up extra early. Sw sweet. I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. We're chilling. <gasps> I forgot we got this new... Crinkle paper, okay. We're making stickers. You know what? I think I can afford to give people candy now. Whoa, we can give people dongo? We can give people dongo now? That's crazy. That's fancy, my friend. <gasps> Wait, we should give them chocolate beetles. That would be cute. It's kind of expensive. Oh no, it's only 10. Okay, I think we'll, we'll give people chocolate beetles now. If they order over 50 worth of stickers. Or 100, I don't know. If you leave, you might not come back again. I'll be good. I, no, I'm gonna stop. I'm sorry. I know I haven't streamed in so long. I'm gonna try to stream more regularly. But I, I'm, I'm really busy next week. So I don't know. But we'll see. We'll see. Sleepy time. Oh, we got nothing because we didn't do anything but make stickers. Okay. Is the joke? I know, but I feel bad, Jen. Oh, we got print stickers too. Oh, she ordered. Okay, hold on. We gotta make the stickers first. So we made... Okay, so hold on. I don't know how many they ordered. But we'll make... We'll print like a... Initial batch. Of everything that we need. Oh, come on. You really don't fit? You could fit. Come on, you could do it. You could do it. If you tried to make your stickers this close, the cut lines this close on an actual machine, I don't think... I think that would mess up the needle somehow. Or the, the blade. Maybe we can fit and relax in there. Okay, we can't do that either. I'm gonna go insane. I have to hire a top surgeon for this work. The millimeter precision. it fit on this side, but not this one. Mm. I bet you it's gonna glitch out later and not want to print it later.
What am I missing here? Why does it not want to fit? Yes, that's fine. I didn't see how many people ordered the Tedu Tedu, but. We'll just print a few. Wonder if we can fit this somewhere. Yeah, maximizing space. The ones that can so grape skin back together. Man, that's crazy. I've seen I've seen a, I've heard of that. I think I've seen a picture of it. That's an impressive surgeon for you, you know. If I ever have to have surgery, maybe I'd want them to do it. <gasps> hey Ken, how are you? Okay, let's see. Let's Ooh! Okay, this paper is kind of cute. This paper is kind of cute. Hey, Achiel, I understand that you don't want me to spend money on your stickers, but I want to show my support as a friend. Your creativity deserves recognition, so consider it an investment in our friendship. Aw, this person's so nice. Thank you. Thank you for the support. I appreciate it. If I ever have to undergo surgery, I hope I'm a grape too. <laughs> yes, please just make me a grape. I hope I make a good wine. That's what I would want. Good, just been chatting with a friend and working on things. Oh, nice, nice. I'm glad you're doing good. Hopefully you're making lots of progress on whatever you're working on. I think this looks cute. She only ordered 48 worth of stuff, so I don't think she gets a candy. I'm sorry. You gotta order 50. Oh, the, where's the... The beetle is for Christmas? Why is the beetle for Christmas? Look. It's with the candy cane. And the Christmas ornaments. Why is the beetle considered a Christmas item? That's strange. Okay. Well, we have some, but she didn't order enough. She didn't meet the threshold. Sorry, bro. I don't get it. 18? Man, y'all wasting my boxes. Buying only $18 worth of stickers. I guess not $18, 18 coins. I mean, thank you for the business, beautiful customer. You don't have a Christmas? What the heck are Christmas beetles? It's, it doesn't even say Christmas beetle. It's a chocolate beetle. Thank you very much. Wow, is, is 50 too high for to give candy? Because people ain't ordering 50 worth of stickers. Oh, we didn't print out relax. Oh my gosh, hold on. Wait, what were we low on? Um, people really don't like the coffee time sticker. Why? We have so much of the... We have so much of it. Let's make more of these. Is that it? Yeah, it's a Teddy Teddy Bozo sticker. I made it. Well, I, I made it out of... We have to do triangles and then a circle and then all that fun stuff. It's not an actual official Teru Teru. We had to make it from the shapes that they gave us, pretty much. Okay, then let's make... Oh, wow. We can't fit that many of these. These are so big! Come on, we can't even fit there. Are you serious? Mm. Well, we'll fit what we can, I guess. That's it. That's all we can fit. 
feel like this is a waste of space. I wish you could rotate it. But I guess that's fine. Why is it playing twice? Then why? I don't even think you or you got it twice. <laughs> what the heck? Teddy, why Teddy Teddy Walmart? What do you mean? I think we did a good job making it. It doesn't look like Walmart Teddy Teddy. Thank you very much. I think it looks cute. My cute little Teddy Teddy. Every time I click on the server, it's your new newest cute art. Wait, what what new art did I get? I don't even remember. I keep forgetting to post the art that I get. I have an Easter art that I forgot to share with you guys. I only remembered because we were talking about bunny suits. <laughs> I will share it later. And I guess I should post the Easter art as well. I never got around to being able to do the Easter ASMR. I'm really sad about that, to be honest, but... It is what it is. Post it now? I will, later, later. I don't, I don't... I usually don't check on Discord and stuff when I'm streaming. Nobody is ordering 50 credits worth of stickers, bro. How am I gonna... <gasps> this reward! Thank you so much for the sub! Welcome, welcome to the Teddy Teddy Blizzard family. Do you have a favorite flower? If it's not a hydrangea, I could give you one reason why it should be. I don't- Nobody's gonna get a free candy, dude. What the heck? Posted the Easter art on Twitter? Uh, no. Not the bunny suit one. That one is kinda... Slightly unsaysalish. So... No, I haven't posted that one on Twitter. <laughs> 5 a.m. off the bed. Okay, good night. Sleepy, sleep well. 5 a.m.? I thought you were in the same time zone as me. Weird. Okay, never mind. Ada, ada. <laughs> that was a weird ada, ada. But there you go. You get That's what you get. And that's you. Okay, hold on. Let's see. It's probably gonna miss, but you better catch it. Good night, kiss. Mwah. Choo. I still don't know if you like chill or if you like whatever you like more, my friend. You got, you got to. I like that one, bro. I don't even know how I did that one. It sounds like I messed up on that one. Lily of the Valley. Lily of the Valleys are nice. Well, apparently, they're toxic, though. I was thinking maybe I wanted one, but. I guess my dogs don't really eat my plants, though. But apparently they're toxic. I'm really sad about that. I mean, I have some other plants that are also toxic to dogs. Because they don't eat my plants. So... I don't really worry about it, but... I don't know. I don't know. You should, you could still do the A Well, it was an Easter-themed ASMR. So I missed out on the White Day ASMR and the Easter ASMR. Because it was specific, you know... Theme, and so I didn't release it in time because of reasons I couldn't get around to doing it. Um, so maybe next year I'll I'll shelf the idea until next year, and then I can do it then, I suppose. You caught it, nice. I'm glad you caught it, Slippy. Now go sleep, get some rest. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know you meant the ada ada. The one picture you posted of your dog on the bed was 10 out of 10. Cute, more please. Yo, she looks like... My dog looks like she was drunk and she just passed out on the street or something. That's what she looks like to me. <laughs> she likes the bed, though. I can tell you that much. Chelsea, while I'm being bored at the airport. Ooh, is it is it flight flight to go back home now? Time, is it flight time soon? 
Wow, this person ordered three Ricky stickers. Ricky kind of is really carrying the shop, bro. Three Ricky stickers and nothing else. Face plant my pillow. Okay, good night, squeaky. Sleep well, sleep well. Thank you for hanging out. Soon, yeah, I got. Oh, another four hours. Damn, why are you at the airport so early? Well, I guess four hours is normal for a domestic. I mean, uh, international flight. Cute the Easter art. Aw, thank you, thank you. I'll post it in the Discord later, but I also have the other one I was gonna post. Womp womp. How are you, Penta? <gasps> thank you for the... Thank you for the follow, Penta. Welcome to the Teddy Teddy Buzzy family. Do you have a favorite flower? If it's not a hydrangea, I can give you one reason why it should be. Also womp womp. Mm -hmm. Also womp womp. Have a safe flight home. Drink a lot of algae. <laughs> Wait, why drink a lot of algae? What the heck? Hey, Howie. How are you? We we're just talking about how I... Ended up not doing my ASMR I was supposed to do. I'm sorry. I don't think I deserve to be called ASMR girl. Ooh, that packed really nicely. Look at that. I'll take it. Pack all my orders for today. <gasps> and we had time to mail it out. Awesome. Customer of the month. Send I got a I got a I got an achievement. Send 50 packages. And my picture is in the post office. Imagine if the post office actually put the picture of people that send a lot of packages up. That's kind of weird. I wouldn't want that. <laughs> no, thank you. Guess we could still print more stuff. Will it let me? We do have time to print more, okay. No, we don't have time, okay. You can only print one sheet, fine. Flippy time! We're upgrading the circle and the triangle. Amazing. 35 hearts. Three orders. I bet you they didn't even order that much. I think we have a good amount of stickers. I don't know. Should we should we end it off here? I said I was gonna end it as soon as we did the Teddy Teddy, and we kind of did. I mean, we did. It looks cute. We when we ended up doing more than that. Is it sleepy time for me too? I'm not sleepy, but I guess I should be good and sleep. One more sticker of what? We didn't do the mushrooms yet, but I have no- I have no idea... ...what I want to do with the mushrooms. I'm still... let me see... Let me see if I can get an idea here. <laughs> look at this mushroom! The kiwi? The kiwi is cute. I don't think that goes with mushrooms, though. What animal goes with mushrooms? Bunny, I guess? Maybe? I think the red panda would be cute. With the mushroom. Maybe we'll buy the red panda. Okay, one more sticker. We have the red panda, and then the mushroom. And so we're gonna make it a big boy sticker. Oh, that's the biggest thing. Never you know, mind. Hmm. Do we want text with it? No, I don't like the text that we have. I'm gonna move the red panda first. Put lots of grass. And then I'm 
wondering if we should add more mushrooms. Okay, hold on. Oops. Lots of grass. What else does it need? I don't think we want the other colored mushrooms right now. Like that a lot? It is kind of cute. Hold on. I think it's too big though. Too long. Take this one away. There's a way you can add rain. Mm, I don't think we can afford rain. But I that would be cute. We have a raindrop, but we can't make it blue. We don't have the color blue. <laughs> so I don't think we can make it rain. I think... Yeah, we don't have blue. And I don't think we can afford it. It costs 50 hearts. That's crazy. Panda pee, not panda pee. That's cute. It is pretty. I'm actually happy with how it turned out. <laughs> I think it's actually really cute. Not gonna lie. I think I like the grass being in front right here. Okay. I guess that's all we can do since we can't add the rain. It would have been cute with the rain. Would have been cute. But we don't have blue. Mm, okay, what should we call it? Or I wonder. Should he be behind all the grass? No, maybe not behind all. Only some. I guess how we had it was okay. Just behind some of the grass? Or in front of all the grass? I don't know what I like. Maybe in front of all the grass and then we'll just add like small tufts of grass. Yeah, I think that's what we'll do. 
Just add tiny grass. Yeah, I think that's good. Hmm. Do I? I don't know. Or is it too small? Maybe what I'm adding is too small. Okay, I think that's better. We'll live with it. I think that's good enough. I don't know what to call it though. Mm. Mushroom. Mm. Fun guy. I don't know. Sits. We'll just call it sits high. But no, no, you're not high like that. <laughs> no, no, not like that. I'm not that kind of store. We just call it sits. I mean, get much higher. <laughs> I'll just call it mush. I'll just call it shrooms. There, we'll just call it shrooms. Oh, I forgot we could have bought like other papers. We could have bought fancy papers. I still don't know what cardboard is. Radiant sparkles. We now create new stickers that shimmer and shine. Only stickers using the same paper can be printed on the same sheet. So does that mean I can't... Can I upgrade this to be... So I can't upgrade this to be... On shiny paper, I have to remake it. That's kind of lame if I have to remake it, man. Good night, Sob! Sleep well! Local sticker artist arrested for selling LSD on stickers. <laughs> no, I'm a good, I'm a good, I'm a good seller. I promise. Maybe not good in the way. Mm, I don't know, man. I don't know. All right, I think we're done too. So we made the sticker. Bet that floral dessert would be high quality. Yeah, but I can't remake it. I mean, I could remake it. That's gonna take forever. I wish you could just... Because that's not how it works. As far as I know, that's not how it works when you're making stickers. You make the design and then you choose later what paper it's printed on. You don't make a design and then... You know, when as you're making the design, um, lock in the type of paper it's printed on. It's not until it's printing time that you... I don't know. Makes no sense, but okay. Anyway, let's go find somebody to raid, I guess. I guess it's... I guess it's sleepy time, because it's late. I had fun with this game. I'm surprised. It's a really relaxing game, and I, I'm enjoying making the stickers. <laughs> I really am. Okay, let's go find somebody to raid. Hold on. Thanks for the stream, it's always fun spending my nights with you. Aw, you're so sweet, Jen. Thank you, thank you, thank you for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I wasn't sure, I, wanna, I haven't streamed in so long. I was honestly not sure if anybody would <laughs> remember me or show up or anything, because I haven't streamed in a while. Especially for a game like this, I wasn't sure. Because I'm just streaming some kind of comfy game, so I was, I was a little worried, not gonna lie. 
thank you. Hi, hi, you new. Cycle, weren't you? Wait, Cycle, are you at work? Go to work, bro. That's fun. Thank you, thank you. I might play this game again. I really might. Well, let me go to, let me switch to just chatting. I hope this game was okay. <laughs> it's mostly a chatting game, I think. I don't know. I had fun with it. I hope you had fun with it. If you didn't, then it's just a good game to have in the background. Hold on, let me... Is there a way for me to save? <gasps> Thank you so much for the follow, Matcha Flan. Welcome to the Teddy Teddy Buzzy family. If you have a favorite flower, if it's not a hydrangea, I can give you one reason why it should be. Wait! <gasps> wait! Hold on! Hold on, I just found something. Wait, wait, wait. I found something. Let me go, let me go back. There's streamer settings. Look at this. This. <gasps> thank you for the head pad, Ariel. Thank you, thank you. I'm at work slacking off and enjoying streamer best way. Mm, that's fair. But I clicked on it. Look, look, look. You can order stuff. I'm pretty sure it's just ordering it in game, obviously, but. Wait, how do I. I want to test this out. Wait, let's test this out. Hold on. Let me, let me, let me go back here first. Before I log in and you see, you see all my stuff. Hold on. Well, I don't think you're ordering it, obviously, like, to keep. That'd be weird. I don't think they'd let you do that. But, let's see. Hold on. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, let me authenticate it. Let's see. Connect. You are connected to Twitch. Okay. What do I do now? It says I'm connected to Twitch, but I don't know what I do. Hold on, I'm trying to figure this out. One second. Is it an extension? It's not Panda B, stop! Wait, let's figure this out, y'all. I, it's so, oh my god. Let's see. Sticky, let me see if it's an extension. It's not. How do you do this? I don't get it. Hold on, let me go back. I don't get it. From the developer? I'm gonna chop me next, maybe. Oh, here we go. Wait, no. Orders. Oh, here. If enabled, users who typed in their orders first will be selected first instead of choosing randomly from all the orders that are placed in the order period. What order period? Oh, wait. Maybe we have to... Maybe we have to... What do we do? Why didn't we find out this until now? Hold on. Okay. Here, let me let me take care of these orders and let's see. Let me let me just fulfill these orders. While Mango tries to shorten whatever. Oh, it uses a list of subscribers as customers. Oh, so you don't you don't actually get to choose? You don't get to choose what we're or you're ordering? I was so excited. Well, I still wanna- I wanna test that out. Hold on. How did we even get there again? You can paste custom names into a text editor and that's about it. Oh, That's what it means by this. Okay. Specify custom names by entering all names in the text file. Click on reload to refresh the list of names used in the game. Users who typed in their orders first will be selected first instead of choosing randomly from all the orders that are... So what does this mean? 
Users who typed in their orders first will be selected first, instead of choosing randomly from all the orders that are placed in the order period. That means that you guys can put in an order, no? Click the edit button. That just brings up one note. And the custom names. Yeah, you can add custom names there, but what was the point of, um... What was the point of connecting my Twitch? Shouldn't... Shouldn't it pull from Twitch then, since I connected it? I don't know how it works. I'm a little confused. Let me fulfill these orders and then we'll just... Okay, let's fulfill these orders and then let's, um... Play with it a bit more. <laughs> Mobs, why are you throwing stuff at me? Saw the second half of the document. What's the second half of the document say? Give me them sticky goodies. <laughs> You search on Google Sticky Business Stream Integration. Okay, hold on. Sticky Business Stream Integration. Enable Sticky... I checked if there was an extension on Twitch. I didn't see it, but... Here, let me look at... On Steam. Settings, authenticate. Okay. You have two options to specify how the integration should work. You can specify orders picked from reviewers. Users can order in the sleep screen. Your stickers will be shown with their IDs beside them and the cost of the sticker. Users will have to add that ID to their command like so. Oh, so you would have to do exclamation point order. And one, two, three, or whatever in the sleep screen. Let's see. Hold on. Okay, we're gonna go to the sleep screen. Let's test it. Ah, okay, here you go. So here you type in your orders. This is how you do it. Okay. It's cute. But I feel like this has limited. How do you even get coins? Oh, so you guys have 16. It didn't work. Oh, yeah, Jen, in order. There you go. Oh, so each of you only have 16 credits. Wait, so did Mango? Did it? Oh, Mango, you don't have enough. You don't have enough. Can't order coffee time. Budget exceeded. Damn. So we got orders from Jen and Mango. Okay. And then... 16 total? No, I think... Okay. Eh? No, no, no. I think you each have 16 total. I think you each have 16 total. But coffee was... How much was coffee? Coffee was six each. It's too late, Psycho. You missed your order period. Sorry, I'm already fulfilling orders, bro. Can you order only one? No, no, I think you can order more. I think Mango ordered two. Because Mango did six, six, and six. I think Mango ordered two of the sixes. Let's see. Oh, we're out of Ricky stickers. Wow. Holy moly. Hold on. Let's see, let's see. Oh man, now we're definitely gonna play this game again. <laughs> Start rejecting orders for being too depressing. Is this depressing? Oh no, it is. Well, the stickers didn't help. Two projects failed. But here I am, buying more stickers to distract myself. 
I was diagnosed with burnout and I'm now on sick leave, but I feel- I don't feel better. I feel like a failure sometimes. Wait, bro, why? I'm so- I feel bad! Now I feel bad! The stickers didn't help! And now I feel like it's my fault. Even though, as a sticker seller, it's not my problem. You know, I'm just here to supply you with goods, but... Damn, I'm so sorry the stickers didn't help, dude. <laughs> Getting late here, good luck with that. Okay, thank you, V. Good night, good night, sleep well. Give me Burns. What? I've never seen the name Burn. Very interesting. Using sympathy for that chocolate beetle. Should we give him one? I do feel kind of sad. I feel bad for him that the stickers didn't help. Not that my stickers ever claim to help, you know? It's like, okay, well, what do you want me to do, bro? What made you think the stickers would help in the first place? Here, he's gonna get this thing. He's gonna get this. One candy. Maybe that'll make him feel better. I don't know. I'm gonna do that in the notes when I get your stickers. Does it even let you? I don't know. You can mess up his order and purpose and rely on something else for happiness. Mess his order up on purpose? That's messed up. How is that gonna make him happy? Grandma... I, don't call it Grandma Candy. Oh, look, we got plus 15% to whatever this is. I, forgot, I don't even remember what that is. There you go, burned. And then from Carla... Oh my god! Carla got five of the... Oh, we didn't even... We didn't even print the... Hold on, we didn't print the mushroom. Oh my god, the sticker's so big. That's all we that's all we can print on here. We can't even add more because it's so freaking huge. Carla drop shipping the stickers. I mean uh, yeah, what is she doing with it? Oh, it's worth it wow, okay. The relax is still more expensive at eleven. That doesn't make sense. The shrooms is ten. Look how big shrooms is. It looks bigger than relax, but okay. What makes you think it's Panda Pea Psycho? There's literally no yellow. One, two, three, four, five. I just found your shop. It's super cute. Looking forward to all your sticker creations. I also have a sticker shop, but I'm going for a different style. I'm a fan of mushroom stickers. I need more of them. Oh my god. You're like those people... Okay, I don't care that you have a shop, dude. Aren't you're my competition. You don't have to tell me that. She's like those people that come. I'm sorry, that come to stream and are just like, "Wow, I just had a wonderful stream today." It's like, okay, why are you coming to my stream talking about your stream? <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's kind of weird. Here she gets. She ordered fifty, so she gets a chocolate beetle. There you go. Aw, there's no message. This one's from Jen. Come check out my stream and the number one sticky business streamer on Twitch. Mm, am I still the number one? Hell yeah. Oh, my stream was fun. How is your stream? Aw, thank you, Psycho. I'm glad your stream was fun. See, I will never I'll never be mean about it, though, if you talk about your stream. I, I, think, I will think on the back of my mind that it's... I mean, unless, obviously, unless you're, like, a... Unless you're raiding... Or I, I, you know, I ask you how your stream went. But... If you just come in to talk about only your, your stream and only your stream, unprompted... I'll be nice about it. I won't be mean about it. I'll be professional. But... In the back of my mind, I'm thinking like, dude, did you just come here to talk about yourself? I mean... On one hand, I like it when you guys talk about yourselves. But... I think it's weird to talk about your stream, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know. I don't know. I don't mind when you guys talk about yourselves, your life, how that's going. That's fine. Unless it's really going to bring the mood down. Then it gets kind of awkies. Um, but... Where am I going with this? What am I trying to say? I don't even know what I'm trying to say anymore. But you know, you, you get what I mean, dude. You get what I mean. 
think that's a perfectly fair thing to feel. Okay, thank you. Thank you for validating my feelings, Jen. <laughs> Two of the coffee ones for Mango. Ooh, Jen, I forgot to give you candy. I'm sorry. Here, I'll give Mango something because I feel bad that you couldn't order your other... Your other one. Mango, but you're not going to get anything special. You're going to get a peanut. Mango, you're not allergic to peanuts, are you? I'll give Mango a peanut. Now you're going to start. <laughs> I'm sorry. Next time, I'll give you two peanuts. Not peanuts. Stop! There you go. Enjoy your peanut. Gonna sleep, but I just saw your stickers and I need them to fill that hole in my soul that my oh she left, so I'm ordering them down. Well, I hope I hope these stickers make you feel better. I hope. I'm sorry about the hole in your soul, but hopefully my stickers will make you happier. I don't know. I'm not a therapist, bro. But I hope these stickers help. Enjoy, Mango. We packed all our orders for today. Okay, I'm gonna send your stickers out. Enjoy, guys. Sticker therapy, indeed. I just finished streaming The Forest. Have you played it before? Hmm, have I played The Forest before? I'm trying to think. Hmm, no, I've never heard of the game, Psycho. I have zero intention of ever playing that game. <laughs> Again, so... I hope you did not come here in hopes that I would play The Forest. Wink wonk. Did you ever have those scratch and sniff? Oh, yeah! I have. I was always amazed by them, even though... Rick, well, oh, mobs, I don't even have my kazoo right now. I'm sorry, I don't think it can do it. I might have to refund you, because I... I moved some stuff around. And then, I'm sorry, mobs! I'm sorry! And I, yeah, I don't have my kazoo right now. I don't I have to go look for it, because I moved some stuff around on my desk. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'll refund you after, I'm sorry. But yeah, Jen, I've had those scratch and sift stickers. They're pretty cool. They never really smell good. But I, I was just amused by um, the idea of them, I guess. Alright, so we figured out what that does. I think maybe next time you guys can order next time. <laughs> maybe we should just sleep for now. Like, sleep, sleep. It's late, need to go sleep, y'all same. So let's go find somebody to raid. Let's see, let's see. I think it automatically saves the game, I hope. I hope, I hope it automatically saves the game. Let me close the game. Wait, wait, I was gonna, wait, wait, hold on. I wanted a screenshot of my cute store. Hold on, I lied, I'm going back again. I keep going back and forth. Hold on. I want I want a I want a screenshot of my cute store. There you go. There. I mean Okay. I made a screenshot. Perfect. Okay, so that way we got that. Okay. Now 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 we find somebody to <laughs> Yeah, no more emotionally damaged no more no more therapy to emotionally damaged sticker purchasers. Maybe next time. I really enjoyed this game. Like legit. Oh all unsaved progress will be lost. Wait, how do I save? What do you mean all unsaved progress will be lost? It automatically saves, right? Well, I'm just gonna go to sleep in the game. I think it automatically saves. Hold on one second. How do you save? Okay, game saved. I slept and it says game saved. Perfect, okay. Now we exit. And... Quick game. Perfect, okay. Let's go find who to raid. Put some music on. Okay. <gasps> thank you for the hydrate, mobs. Thank you, thank you. Remember the strawberry ones were alright? 
But they never really smelled like strawberry, you know? Should the other sticky business streamer? Are they still streaming? If you want me to, I don't mind. Oh, I'm not number one anymore. I don't want to raid them. They're too big. <laughs> the other person playing sticky business. No, thank you. I can't. I'm too shy. Happens in 10 days. I don't know what happens in 10 days. All right, let's see who we could raid. Ah, your birthday. Ooh, happy early birthday. Okay, who else should, who should we raid? What should we raid into? Any specific requests in terms of what type of stream? Not who to, not who to raid into. You know what? Let me look into FF14. Because I, I'm thinking, I don't know, I I know sometimes that's kind of boring. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I'm thinking of streaming FF14 again. You know the song, Penta? Or the previous one? It was a pretty good song. Meant it as a joke? No, well, I really would have. I really would have if they weren't a giant streamer, Mango. I, I'm too, I can't stream, I can't raid them if they're too big. No, thank you. Have a good day tomorrow. Eat some tasty food. We'll see. We'll see. I don't know what to eat tomorrow. Night, night. Why not? Because I don't want to raid big streamer. I feel scared. I feel scared being too small. I'll just raid somebody on FF, maybe. I don't know. Uh, the problem with FF is, like, I don't want to stick around for their stream. Because, I mean, I guess I'm going to sleep anyway, but... Thank you to everybody that sticks around for my FF streams. Because... I don't like watching Final Fantasy XIV streams. I like playing the game. And I like chatting with you guys. And it's a lot more fun when I have you guys to chat with. Um, it's a lot more fun to play FF when I have somebody to talk to. But man, do I hate watching FF14 streams. It's boring as fuck. <laughs> so thank you. If you don't find it boring and you like chatting with me, thank you. I fall asleep watching it, yeah. I'm not gonna lie. I don't... I really enjoy the game. I mean, I haven't played it in a long-ass time. But I enjoy the game. But, man. Thank you if you stick through it with me. Because I'm gonna probably play more FF14. I'll tell you that right now. Was it... Uh, okay, I can't read the kanji. But yes, it was by Vondi. But I don't know what the kanji says. Oh my god, did I do my Duolingo? Can't remember. It doesn't make much sense to someone that's never played it, but it's a bunch of flashy colors. That's fair. It is a bunch of flashy colors. And I get how, I mean, even as somebody that does play it, if somebody's on a class that I don't know, or they're doing a fight that I am not familiar with, sometimes it still doesn't make sense to me too. So, yeah, I get it. I watched you play it for a while now, still don't know what's happening. <laughs> I know. It, it's really hard to understand what's happening um, if you don't play the game. Or if you don't even, if like for, it's like for an ultimate or an extreme fight and you don't know the mechanics, I feel like sometimes it's hard to pick up what to even do just by watching. So, yeah. So thank you for sticking it out with me if you, if you watch me play FF. Which you might, which I might play later at some point. Maybe over the weekend, because apparently Splora and Seth are probably going to do Uwu Prog, and I might join. I don't know yet. I haven't fully decided yet. So I don't know if I should stream it, or 
if it's not your guys' cup of tea, I'll just I'll just be on Splora's stream. I'm sure Splora will stream it. I don't know. Oh my god, this song. I have not heard this song in forever. I think it's definitely sleepy time. This, this is going to make me sleepy. Um... Okay, I'm not finding an FF streamer I want to raid. Uh, maybe I'll just raid Shally underscore XIV, who is... XIV totally doesn't stand for FF14. See, we're kind of kind of raiding into 14 in a sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, there's the raid message. If you're subbed and if you're not subbed. Next stream. I don't know when. Um, oh shoot, the ad. I'm so sorry. There's an ad gonna go right now, but you know what? We're raiding out, so it's fine. Um, I don't know. If I'm gonna do uwu, then next stream will be over the weekend, I think. I don't know. Or maybe even tomorrow night. I don't know when they're planning on doing uwu. If not, then next stream, who knows? We'll see. First time here and I really like your stream. Aw, thank you, Tony. You're so sweet. Thank you for hanging out. Alright, we're gonna raid into Shaolin. And I'll see you guys when I see you. Like, legit. I don't know. Um, I'm gonna try not to be a stranger and I'll try to stream more often again. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I've been gone for so long. I've been going through it, but I'm kinda, kinda over it now. So hopefully we're good. Um, but yeah. I'll probably see you this weekend. If not tomorrow, then either Saturday or Sunday. I'm definitely going to stream at least one of those days, and then we'll see after that. We'll see. I don't know if I'll make a stream schedule, because like I said, I'm busy next week. Um, But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I I kind of want to play the sticky business again. It was kind of fun. Um, I think mostly streams for now will be chill streams. Either sticky business or FF14. I consider FF14 to be a chill stream. I don't know if you guys consider that chill. But yeah, good night, good night, good night. Thank you for hanging out. Good night, Psycho. Good night, Jan. Good night, Mango. Good night, Penta. Good night, Mobs. Good night, everybody. Sleep well if you're gonna sleep. Bye bye.